Yeah! Let's get Vivian in here. It's time. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Yeah, not too bad. Are you excited? I'm, I'm, I'm excited. actually quite excited, yeah. This is going to be um, terrible but fun. So, I yeah, hope. I'm, I'm, I'm both excited and trepidatious. Um, Good word. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, so, did I you... Known, oh, I, let me I am your... known in all the boroughs for having the best words. Yeah, there you I go. I went to an Ivy League university. I have, I have words. Oh, that's, have that's a big words. advantage, I have heard. I, did, I didn't go to an Ivy League university. It's a Trump quote. You don't remember that quote? Did he say that? No, I don't remember that one. Trump, I mean, he has Trump so many that. that, like, my brain kind of shuts off when he does them. I have but... words. I have the best words. Oh, I remember that now. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. also, um, how did you go to an Ivy League? When, like, unless you, I guess you could have come here for that. Ivy Leagues are overrated anyway. Fuck the Ivy Leagues. Yeah, honestly. Fuck them. They're like yeah. Oxford over here. <clears throat> yeah. Oxford? Oxford and Cambridge. Oxbridge. Oh, Oxbridge. Oh, I didn't realize they smushed them together like that. That makes yeah. sense, though. All I know about, um, wait, now I can't remember which one it was, but in that, in the book, um, the golden compass happens at an alternate history version of one of those schools. And that was kind of cool. I like that. Book. I know Philip Pullman was like, was like rooting for JK. Yeah. And I mean, uh, he, was, he was playing defense for her when, when it, when it all kicked off. I was well, like, fuck. That's oh, another one. Yeah. Yeah. Turns Tell out the what, atheists think... weren't so good at advancing their um their ethical and moral calculations beyond God bad. Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't know that Philip Pullman was like part of the atheist community or anything. But... Yeah. Well, his books were basically yeah, about yeah, right. fuck God. YouTube skepticism. Um Yeah, it became a whole thing. Mm -hmm. Um and if there's one thing you learn being trans, it's like uh you can't you can't really afford to have that many heroes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Heroes are very few and far between. Yeah. Did somebody say Thunderfoot? They might, they might just turn around one day and be like, yeah, no, I, I, I fucking hate trans people, actually. And you'll be like, oh, man, I'm fucking sucks. I'm so sad right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's happened many times. Oh, we yeah, should. We should yeah, we could do that. That's heroes. a good idea. Aww, we could become each other's so heroes. Cute. Viv, you're my hero now. Bam. Aww, Problem solved. So much. I don't have any heroes. I'm too good for that. Damn it. Now this is a... Now, I, I, I played my hand too early. I'm getting nothing out of this now. Now I don't get to be anybody's hero. How can I look up... How can I look up to anyone when I'm so far above everybody? Oh! Oh, shit! Break, <laughs> fucking breaking out the big ego. Listen. The, I love the energy. I love it. All right. I don't mind you, fucking I don't heal mind you. energy right oh, now. That's what I'm getting you're, here. You're, you're my hero for tonight. Oh, right? thank you, Puff. Hey, right. Puff um join the join the website join the website we have our own website now it's just like vgg if you've ever been on there i think you have i feel like i've seen you over there um but yeah i, don't know. I haven't been there in ages you the haven't been over there, there to, well last time i went there was to have a conversation with Vosh, right and i was like how long ago was that i was i was trying to be reasonable and fix some things that didn't go very well yeah. um Fair i don't think he was down to fixing anything that's yeah. fine. Happens sometimes. I don't mind. There's a whole side of the uh, of the left sphere that I'm I'm perfectly okay with not um, interacting with. <laughs> oh, we're talking sides now. I see. Well, I just don't care. You know, I, what I mean is there's like a group that don't yeah. particularly like me, and oh, that's perfect. Right, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm Big not spongy bad. boy. That's what we got in <laughs> chat right now. Big spongy boy. Um, I will agree. Listen, I endorse no no such comments here uh, about what everybody says. Like you got everybody's got their own feelings, but I will say this: Vosh is a big boy. He is a big boy. That's true. Um, yeah, you finally won me over. Finally, it took the longest time. Um, but what it was was um, what sold me on the VTubers. To be completely honest, was the fact that Riot. Um, made a fake um, a fake Instagram influencer that became a character in their games 
and they like mimed a mental breakdown from a fictional event but it was like super parasocial and they were taking comments and putting them on a fictional wall from their fans mm -hmm. and it was really fucked up and then i realized actually i found an enemy greater i never thought and i did the i did this the the lord of the rings meme where i was like i never thought i would uh die fighting side by side with a vtuber and then <laughs> and then the the vtubers looked over and were like what about with a friend? And I was like, I, I can do that. And then we were like, ah, we went in against the, uh, and then we went in against the. YouTubers are fucking awesome. All right. Yeah. I, I, I have come, I've softened up on them. Originally I was like, these people are going to steal. They're going to kill me. They're here to replace me. It's like, it, I felt like a, I felt like a, like a, like a professional screw tightener looking at the screw tightening robot that was just installed one workstation Before. over. Before I started streaming, uh, about a year and a half, two years ago, I was talking to Ripley Violet about um, face rigs because I was like, I'm not sure if I want my actual identity out there. Yeah. I'm not like a fucking, oh, I'm not a furry or anything, and I don't want some Garbo rent sonar. Yeah, so I was yeah. just like, I don't know. I had this idea in my head that I could probably do some kind of like gross ass twigs in the hair witch, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, fucking somebody in the forest and shit just coming out going ah, you're fucking nazis <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for the tier one subscription puff uh deeply appreciate that thank you very very much oh uh real That's quick saying, vivian yeah. not to to take away from from our discussion but um i have had a request for uh the big boy clip to be played so i'm going to going to play it why not here we go here we go oh my shiro come on come on come on Wow, big boy, big boy, big boy. Yep, that's that. That's me. When that's what that's my thoughts on on Vosh. Which one? Boy. Which one's that? Is that's that Corona. It's Corona. Yeah, Corona. the the pupper, the pupper, the the the. The, the only the, one the I really pupper. know is Kizuna, Kizuna Eye, and then all the fairy tubers that have their fucking fursonas. Oh yeah, that's right. They did put a reference to this in Doom. In Doom Eternal, if you go into like the training mode and you press X four times really quick, um, it'll play like a little like uh song, and then it'll come up with the Doom Eternal logo, but it says Doog Eternal instead because you know the reference to the Doog. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I live yep. for the day when somebody puts me in a video game. It's yeah, never that'd be gonna awesome. happen. I have a feeling though, if I'm likely to be put in a video game, it's probably gonna be in like some like. I don't know, weird right wingers game where it's like kill the SJWs or something. True. We got hit true. by fucking bots again today. I don't know who the fuck has got got their fucking dick, their robot dick hard for me. They're firing so many bots at me. I can't even believe it. That's why you got to join the oh, site chat. True. No bots here. <laughs> I had that before. I had to, um, I shot up to like 5,000 followers. I was like, what is this shit? It was like four or five thousand bots. They yep. just like spammed me. It we got hit crazy. with forty thousand apparently. And um yeah. Twitch got most of them, but I still went from like three thousand organic followers to twelve thousand. And then slowly they've been taking out accounts over time. Um mm -hmm. and now I'm down to like ten thousand followers. But I'm I'm actually like so frustrated because it was it's killing my engagement numbers you know what i mean because like the analytics like yeah. when i send out um an invite to twelve thousand bots but i emailed twitch about it and i actually got a contact back from twitch support and they were like don't worry about it we're like doing our best to purge them and everything like that but um but yeah mm -hmm. anyway uh where the fuck so is this your, being uh, what's your prediction for the debate we do debate predictions yeah um oh, i wish what i had oh, i wish i'd made a debate bingo that would have been good. Do we have time? We do have time. We could put together a debate bingo. Do we want to do a debate bingo? Sure. Why okay, how, where's those bingo generators? I don't, I don't fucking know. There we go. Chat. Bingo card I generator. Freebingocards.com. Oh. What's the point in having a chat if they're not going to get links yeah. for you? I need a bingo. Bingo! That's what I need. I need a bingo generator. These all look like 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 questionable as hell. Oh, I don't know, Puff. Why is that not working? Let me try. Let me try something real quick. I will try refreshing this and see if it works. Oh, that's so strange. Puff, I don't know why. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think it's an issue with cash with with the 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 
caching of the of the chat we're working on it so apologies if the names don't show up immediately they do show up because wenland got a, a sub yesterday so i don't know we'll figure I'm it out kind though. Of fucking annoyed that like subs get yellow names and i get like a crappy blue name what the blue is so cool Shed. And you have a little Fucking puzzle great. icon. Yellow, yellow is best color. Well, I did want to give, um, you know, I did want to make them look cool. Um, although, actually, that's another thing that's not quite um, worked out. I actually have a different color scheme, but it's being overrided at the moment for some reason. Still working oh. out a couple of the little bumps on the site, but, you know, hopefully it'll... Simp, you, know. you were much nicer earlier in the chat when you were talking about how great I was. Stop fucking disagreeing with me. Stop that shit. Yeah. You're with all oh, Grime Dango. Listen to this. You've got look at the blue names fighting in chat right now. Go, 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 go. Blue name fight. Blue name fight. All these all these basic I'm with Simp. Bitches. All these basic bitches being like blue is better than yellow. What Listen, the fuck is this? Hold shit? on a second here. Wait just a minute. You can't just come into my stream and insult my chat. What's going on here? Actually, you can. You can insult them as much as you want. I, I can. Yeah, go for it. Yes, I can absolutely do that. <laughs> let me let me see here. Oh wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Adobe has a a a bingo card generator. Really? Yeah, oh, you right. have to have you have to fucking have an account. That's bullshit. Does if anybody knows a good bingo generator, please, I will make a bingo card for us to do. Um, if not, we have to do it the boomer way, which is, um, type, you, uh, you use one for WWDC. Is that the worldwide developers conference or something? Print bingo.com, a bingo generator. Let me generate bingo cards. Custom bingo cards based on a template word list. Custom bingo cards with your own word or phrase list. <gasps> Sick. I can do it. Let's see. Click here to create custom bingo cards. Oh. The center square is free. We'll just have it say, uh, 2020 is hell. Okay, so that's the free one. A word can appear in any column, okay? Font, print, print bingo, bingo. Okay, we'll do that. Text size, okay, whatever. Two bingo cards per page. Okay, okay. All right, so enter the word lists. Hmm. Enter words or phrase in the text box below. One word or phrase per line. Minimum of 25 words or phrases. This is, hmm, this is complicating. Let's see. <laughs> um, I didn't know it was this hard to make bingo cards. Let's, let's give the it a try. Okay. Before we even get to the bingo. Wait, did you send one? Wait, wait. Oh, you sent one. Bonus.bingo. Bo Bonusbingo.com. <gasps> that sounds cool. Let's do it. This sounds a lot easier. Uh, that's way simpler. Oh, this is way easier. Wow. Okay. So, Viv and Demon Mama's debate. Well, I can't. Okay, debate bingo then. Debate bingo. Character limits. Why is this Debate shit? bingo. Okay. All right. So, now we got to do our predictions. Now it's time. All right. And chat, you can... um. You can you can throw in what you think. Um de bingo. De bingo? That's what I'm changing it to. I'm sorry. De bingi. There we go. De bingi. All right, we got this. All right, Antifa. All right, that's a good one. That's a good first one. Oh, Antifa, that's definitely gonna Antifa is definitely going to be on there. Um China virus got to be on there, right? We we, we know yeah. he's going to bring up China virus, right? He going to say the China virus? Yeah. China or maybe China. um so we could do China virus, and then we could also have a second bingo slot be for China plague because he's been really he's been really feeling that one lately. Oh, just a flu. That's a good one. Okay, let's put just a flu on there, and you can shuffle this, right? Oh, you can. You can shuffle them. <gasps> so sick. Okay, here we go. So we will put just a flu. That's a good one. And it has to be basically that quote. It has to be really close to that. Okay. We got Hunter Biden is going to be on there for two. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter Biden, Biden is too easy. Maybe we should do Hunter's laptop. You want to do that one? Hunter's laptop. Okay, Hunter's laptop. And connected some QAnon shit. 
I'm just saying. So we're going to say QAnon, Q, uh, reference to QAnon, or da- why don't we put no, downplay? No, no reference to QAnon. Um, Trump, Trump pushing a QAnon conspiracy. Trump. That's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm down with this happening because of the shit that Don Jr. was saying today. What did he say? I think, I think he's going to do it in, com- in combination with Hunter's laptop, actually. I think he's going to suggest that Joe Biden has... Um, uh, has oh I remember this. To sex trafficking. I think I think that's how he's gonna do it. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Sick. Oh, anarchist. That's a good one. Want to put anarchists on there? Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. Anarchists and radical left. The ho- that whole phrase. Anarchists and radical left. Oh, okay. Anarchists, radical it might left. Might even be. It might even be anarchists and radical left Democrats. Okay. That that's a phrase that they fucking love. But anarch- anarchists and radical left. Oh, it doesn't give me enough space. Oh, oh yeah, it has character limits. Damn. I wonder why. It's so weird. We'll make the center center space a free one, and we can change the text. Anarchists. Um. Okay, we'll do anarch rad left. That fits. Okay, burning yeah. down cities. That's a good one. Burning cities. That's what we'll put. That's a good one. Yeah, I think that one will cover rioters. Rioters seems a little too broad. I don't want to give it too easy for us here. Hmm, what else are we going to do on here? We got Let's see. We got a couple others. Okay, so we got to we got to throw some Biden ones in here, right? Oh, Democratic governors, that's for true. That's for sure. Mm, that's the true true. We speak the true true. Okay, Democrat governors. All right, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel better than best in years. I feel best I feel better in year, than I have in years. Do you think I don't know. I don't know if it'll happen this time because I think I think Joe Biden will think they played poorly last time. Yeah, but the whole "shut up, man" thing. Oh, I mean, you think that Biden is going to be? Shut up, man. I don't, I don't think he's going to do it. I you don't, don't think, think so? Shut up this time. No, I think it played. I think it played badly with like centrists and shit who are like ours, oh, but rude. Oh my oh, god, god. centrists! God, they're so weak. Yeah, Man. No, I, babies. Don't, don't get me wrong. I completely enjoyed him telling trump to shut up but you know he can hit me my friend it's barack see how people go like that people be dumb yeah my friend barack is a good one that's a good one my that one will get from barack. biden for sure hairy legs i got hairy legs I got hairy legs in the sun <laughs> in the sun you're being too mean to Trump. I love that song. We could play that before the before the thing starts. That'll be a good jam to start start the mood up. All right, let's see what else is next. The Alex Jones Goblin song. Goblins. I haven't heard. I don't think I've heard the song version of that one. Goblins. Haven't you? Goblins. Holy no, shit! So. I've heard don't the put that one on instead. That shit's fucking amazing. Wait, have you heard the one with Oh Regeneron? Yeah, he's definitely gonna say that. Regeneron. Regeneron or Pfizer. Which he always says is Pfizer. So we think he's going to do a dog whistle to the Proud Boys again? Really? Mm. I, they might ask him or they might just leave it. That's the that's the problem. Regeneron right. is definitely coming up, though. I agree. He will bring up uh, Regeneron. I think Biden is more likely to bring up the Proud Boys than anybody else. Okay, so we'll put Proud Boys, uh, Proud Boys name drop. Sure, yeah, just generally. Somebody says the words Proud Boys. Okay, Proud Boys is going on there. Let's see. Um, voter intimidation. Do you th- Really? Do you think Biden would bring that on? I mean, it did happen. I feel like he'd never do it. Oh, he might. Oh, Saudi Trump. Arabia. Saudi Arabia? Yeah, Saudi Arabia. Okay, I'll put that on there. Oh, will cancel culture? Do you want to put cancel culture on there? Because those, because they, wait, it will be Saudi Arabia or Iran, right? It's Iran. Yeah. Sorry. So we want to do Iran it's instead? Like, yeah, yeah, Iran. Because there was this big fucking invest. So, so, um, yeah, a bunch of people received like emails purporting to be from the Proud Boys. 
uh, saying they were going to intimidate them at the poll, uh, uh, like saying we know who you are, you need to change your votes from Republican to Democrat or we're going to fucking do you, basically. Oh, shit. Um, and the Proud Boys like denied it was them straight away because, you know, obviously that's fucking yeah. federal crime and shit. Um, so like news, uh, different news sites and stuff um, and, and, and so on did did a pretty in-depth investigation um and whoever sent them was like really trying to um hide their identity uh but they traced it back to like iran probably wow. but it's like it's really sketchy at the moment it was like routed through like some of them were routed through like estonia some were routed through like saudi arabia <laughs> it's really shit. weird shit yeah so, so we'll, we'll put that one on there the free square is 2020 sucks everybody gets that one this year sucks uh um, iran definitely gonna come up anyway iran, even yeah. without that shit like, okay definitely gonna play iran china plague wow uh, <clears throat> all right I'm, I'm banning this guy out of my chat i'm done with this guy. like trying to eat pizza crusts with no dip why is this shit i feel like that Maybe. one won't come up to be honest <laughs> oh we want to do wait wait taxes and china oh oh taxes to china mm. okay um china china well, that one's obviously going to be. I put like China plague. We have both China plague and China virus because I think he'll say both. He's been he's been slapping the uh, he's been slapping the 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 China plague one more lately. Mm. Um, what else do we want to say? What else is going to come up? Uh, we've got seven more. Wait, yeah, we have ten more minutes before the show begins. Um, I don't think he hasn't been using that one lately, Gina. Oof. Packing the courts. Packing the courts. Good one. Okay. Do we think Amy Coney Barrett is going to come up? Oh, yeah, for sure. ACB. Okay, we'll put ACB on there. Um, do we think that Ruth Bader Ginsburg is going to come up? Maybe. Okay. That one was... That doesn't sound... Oh, the suburbs. We have to put that on there. Mm-hmm. Suburban dog whistling. I can't do that. Suburb dog whistle uh just suburbs he just had the pride thing right do you think he's gonna say something like the gays they love me something like that it's gonna be uh they love me about a marginalized community okay so x group the, the x love me x loves me or yeah. whatever yeah yeah, X love me. That's for sure. I, he'll either do that or he'll do the oh the Abe Lincoln thing. I, I'm gonna put since Abe Lincoln. I know he's, he's gonna say that. He loves Abe Lincoln. What yeah. the fuck is that about? It's very weird. Yeah, he Honest always brings Abe. this up. You know they call him Honest Abe because he could never tell a lie. <laughs> oh, the Platinum Plan. Yeah, well, ha he, I'm sure he's gonna bring that one up. That one almost <laughs> seems like a give a gimme because he's been hitting it so hard. Platinum plan, okay? Do you want do you think we should put platinum plan or ice cube specifically? I feel like he might not bring up ice cube directly cuz there was like we have the best in the world. Hmm. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> A lot of people don't know it. I feel like at some point during this stream we're both just going to start doing Trump impressions. Oh, do you think he'll bring up Bolivia? Have I seen what? Are you linking me like hardcore porn? Because I guarantee no, you not. No, Grime Dango anymore. would. Grime Dango would never do that. Okay. Grime Dango has trusted status. No way. Wouldn't. <laughs> wouldn't. Wouldn't kill my stream. Oh God! Why am I doing? Why oh, I know what this is. This is the Scooby Doo one. So good. We watched this on stream the other day. Mm, I'll save that for later. It's Thanks, so Brian. good. You gotta watch it. We don't, we don't really have time right now. Uh, we've got Scooby to, we've Doo, got to do this. but uh, Scooby didn't do. They call him Scooby Doo, but he didn't do. Um, we got to do this, and then I got a and and I got a badger demon mama into playing the goblin song before. The oh, stream. the goblins! Yeah, before we start. I mean, they do their stupid like intro where they play dumb American, like super American jingoistic music and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, have I you don't think he'll bring up Space Force. Right? He hasn't been on Space Force lately. What do we want to say? 
Um, let's see. We got it. We need to fill up these last two ones. So here's what we have so far. We've got Antifa, anarchism, or radical leftist uh, Democrats, Regeneron, um, China Plague, X Love Me, China Virus, Burning Cities, Proud Boys, Taxes to China, Abe Lincoln, Platinum pl Plan, Packing the Courts, Democratic Governors, Just a Flu, Hunter's Laptop, Trump feels best that he's best that he ever has, Iran, ACB. Suburbs, cancel culture, my friend Barack, Barack Obama, uh, the QAnon, a QAnon theory about the laptop, and then what? You need two more. Oh, promise for a vaccine. That's an easy one. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you want to say white supremacists? I feel like that one's going to come up for sure. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, white supremacists, yeah. Oh, white supremacist was too easy. That's why I was like, Proud Boys name drop. Totally. Yeah. You know what? I got one. Democrats. Dems are commies. There we go. That's a good one. I'm I'm pretty mm. sure he'll drop that. He's been he's been getting Where closer and closer. Like communist agenda. Yeah, he's been doing that lately. Mm. Okay. So right. here we go. Let me just see. Uh how do I Okay. So uh, how do I do this? Do I click generate now? Is that what I need to do? Seven steps to create your own bingo. Enter creative card title. Choose the number of grid spaces. Do it on the Enter any words. Click generate. Okay. All right. Here's one. Okay. And I will send it this copy to you. Let's see. Wait. How do I print? Oh, you have to do a fucking print. Oh, play online. Okay. Here we go. Edit and clone. Okay. Here you go. I'm gonna send you the link. One second. DMing you the link. Boop. Wait, that's not the right one. Why did it do that? Here you go. It did. I pressed the copy button and it didn't actually copy it. There you go. This should be the right one. And then I'll generate one for myself so we don't have the exact same one. Boop. All right. All okay, right. Sweet. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna print this out on my or print this out. Yeah. Hit print in PDF. That is Wait, Dave wow. Why did it do this? Why did it break? Oh my god, it broke. The print command broke. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Um, online call list? What the fuck? Oh, attach the call list. No, I don't want that. I just want this. What's happening? It's breaking. It's completely busted. Uh, okay. Well, um, hmm. How do I fix this? Hmm. Cards per page. One. No, I only want one page. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, this is the best Alex Jones Songify. The best one. Right. Without fucking doubt. Here we go. I'll give you that one. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is annoying. This thing does not seem okay. to be working properly. Maybe it's because I have it blocked or something. I don't know. Maybe it's because I have ad blocker on. Let's try again. Nope, it's not working. Damn, it's not generating. I mean, if, you can see the, if you can see the card. Yeah, like, yeah, I can. In a window, right? Yeah, yeah. I can do this. Let's see. It's easy. Easy money. Boop. Okay, so yeah, I'll just... But I wanted to be able to... Oh, oh, you can click on it. Oh, that's sick. Okay, you can actually click on it on the screen, and it'll do it. Okay, sick. So we have different boards now, but we can both click on it, and I can zoom out and... And click it. Okay, six, six, six. Okay. So, what did you send? You send me a song. All yeah, right, yeah. Let's do I it. So, I'll go with the Goblins one and go with this one. This is the best Alex Jones songify ever. All right, let's and jam. The paradigm of absolute control. And that's why we're All right, everyone. Simple this is the pre-stream or the pre-debate jam. And this is where we find the source that God made to transcend the new world order. And that's why they want to try to keep us out of it. I'm angry. Hillary's in the creepy weird six-star 
I want to see that video. I've never seen it. I want to see it too. She sleeps in the same room with that creepy weirdo woman whose mother wears a hood over her head. That woman number one is ugly. Talking about Emma Aberdeen. Imagine how bad she smells, man. I'm told her and Obama just stink. Obama and Hillary both smell like sulfur. <laughs> Do you think Alex Jones is a good smelling man? I can't imagine so. Did a rude vampire fight then a goblin? Hobbling round coming after us. My spirit gets close to that eagle and I feel it go. Ah, ah, ah. We'll start self centered crap. We don't even know it is and it's self rising up against us. Millions of pointed people of the very worst type and I'm so pissed We're gonna stab your daughter at the mall Yeah, that's harmony is a killer They're real good We're gonna stab your wife, your son Ooh. We're gonna stab you with a butcher knife And then the police chief is gonna say we love our Somalis, we love our Muslims, oh they're so good, oh they're so sweet. <laughs> okay, that was great. I think I've, I've only ever heard one piece of that one. This morning. Holy shit, wait, is that sh Oh, this is this is not uh, Shmoyoho. They usually do pretty good ones, too. Damn, that was good as fuck! Right? That was good <laughs> as fuck! Probably my favorite, honestly. I think Probably the one with Weird Al, Al has taken the, the cake for me because I love Weird Al so much. <laughs> All right, let's find this. The, let me find the, the, the actual debate stream. Um, mm, I'm just going to go and grab myself a glass of water quickly while you do that. That's a good idea. Got to stay I'm hydrated. Break. No, no breaks. Let's go. Let's watch the C-SPAN one. There we go. Okay, it's boring. Nobody's there. Look at this. Look at this boring shit. Boring! It does. Holy shit, does it slap. That new Bring Me the Horizon? Beautiful. Beautiful. Gotta check it out. Yeah, it's a little bit of a calm before the storm. This is gonna be fun as fuck. This is gonna be fun as fuck! And by that, I mean it could be horrible. Yeah. But I'm excited to do the bingo. Wait a minute. Oh, can you link me to where you're watching it so we can... Oh, watch. yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. I'm on the... Uh, here. Here we go. Here we go. Are you doing the C-SPAN one? Yeah, the C-SPAN one. Where's my bingo yeah. thingy? Okay. <clears throat> here we go. All right. I'm going to put the bingo over here. Okay. All right. All right. Let's open it up. Oh, they're getting ready. I'm sitting there like... <laughs> Get myself ready. She's like, okay, just touch. Yeah, I, I do that too. See, so, yeah, I do that. <laughs> taking like a deep no! breath. No! No, oh, Grime Dango, I can't. Wait, really? I'll play it with you if you really want to. Listen, we had a lot of fun playing Far Cry New Dawn, so I can't really say no to this one, to be honest. <laughs> who's who's this cheering for Daddy Trump? Oh, uh, oh, in the, <laughs> in the Twitch chat? <laughs> We don't pay attention to those people. <laughs> In Twitch? <laughs> fucking, fucking Twitch chat peasants. Peasant. Ben and Tao, you should, jo you should join on the site so I can give you the chud badge. <laughs> Holy shit, do you have a chud badge? We do have a chud badge. Oh, God. Because, you know, we allow, we allow friendly chuds in our space, as long as they're not totally... Fuck them all. Yeah, um, fair enough. Oh, there we go. Good evening from Belmont University in Tell me Nashville, if it's too low, Tennessee. Folks. I'm Kristen Welker of NBC News, and I welcome you to the final 2020 presidential debate between President Donald J. Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden. Tonight's debate is sponsored by the Commission on Presidential Debates. It is conducted under health and safety protocols designed by the Commission's health security advisor. The audience here in the hall has promised to remain silent. No cheers, boos, or other interruptions, except right now. We can be as loud as we fuck the what? Stage, Boo! Boo! President Donald J. Trump. 
<laughs> it's an it's a it's a twenty four seven peanut gallery here. We can throw as many as much popcorn as we want. Throw it. <clears throat> How do you even get into the audience for one of these things? Uh, money. Waiting in line. I mean, it's got to just be money, right? Like, I Dump truck ass Trump. And I do want to say a very good <laughs> evening to both of beep, you. This debate beep, will cover beep. six major topics. At the beginning of each section, each candidate will have two minutes uninterrupted bullshit, to we'll answer wait. my first question. <laughs> the debate commission will then turn on their microphone only when oh, it's their they're turn doing to the answer, muting and thing. the commission will Ooh. turn it off exactly when oh. the two minutes have expired. After that, both microphones will remain on. But on behalf of the voters, I'm going to ask you no to shield. Uh -oh. one at a time. Uh -oh. The goal is for you to hear each other and for the American people to hear every word of what you both have to say. And so with that, if you're ready, he's going to start screaming start. Even <laughs> though he's on the mic. You know, it's going to happen. Trump, the first question is for you. The country is heading into a dangerous new phase. See you later, Graham Dango. 40,000 Americans Preserve your are in the hospital tonight with COVID, including mm -hmm. record numbers here night, in Tennessee. Day. And since the two of you last shared a stage, 16,000 Americans have died from COVID. Whew. So please be specific. How would you lead the country during this next stage of the coronavirus crisis? Two minutes uninterrupted. So as you know, 2.2 million people modeled out were expected to die. Oh. We closed up the greatest economy in the world in order to fight this horrible disease that came from China. It's a worldwide pandemic. He didn't say all it, over the world. You see the spikes That 2.2 million prediction was right like, now. if they do nothing. Yeah. Notice, yeah. As if they do literally the mortality nothing. mortality rate is yeah. down. <laughs> 85 percent uh, the excess mortality rate is way down and much lower than almost any other country and we're fighting it Did that we're count as china virus there is I don't a spike know. there was a spike in florida and it's now say. gone there was a very big spike in texas it's now gone there was a very big spike in arizona it's now gone and there are some spikes and surges in other places they will soon be gone we have a vaccine that's coming it's ready it's going to be announced within weeks and it's going to be delivered we have uh, operation warp speed which is the military is going to distribute bingo. the vaccine i can oh, tell we you from that personal yep. experience yeah. that uh, i was in the hospital i had it and i got better and i will tell you that uh, i had something that they gave me a therapeutic i guess they would call it some people could say it was a cure but uh, I, I was in for a short period of time and i got better very fast or i wouldn't be here tonight and now they say I'm immune, whether it's four months or a lifetime, nobody's been able to say that, but I'm immune. Uh, more and more people are uh, getting better. We Let's have uh, a problem that's a worldwide problem. This is a worldwide problem. But I've been congratulated by the heads of many countries mm. on what we've been able to do. Uh, with the, if you, if you take a look at what we've done in terms Fucking of sleepy Trump goggles tonight. and masks, mm. low energy, gowns and everything else, and in particular ventilators. We're now making ventilators all over the world, thousands and thousands a month, distributing them all over the world. It will go away, See, like, as I say, I we're of him the being on we're rounding like the corner. It's going away. Yeah. Okay, former Vice President Biden, know. to you. Okay, How so he you didn't click too many yet. We'll get there. He skipped over Regeneron. Mm. 220,000 Americans dead. If you hear nothing else I say tonight, hear this. Anyone who's responsible for not taking control, in fact, not saying I'm, I take no responsibility initially, anyone who's responsible for that many deaths should not remain as president of the United States of America. True. We're in a situation Seems where reasonable. there are a thousand deaths a day now, a thousand deaths a day, and there are over 70,000 new cases per day. Compared to what's going on in Europe, as the New England Medical Journal said, they're starting from a very low rate. We're starting from a very high rate. The expectation is we'll have another 200,000 Americans dead be time between now and the end of the year. Holy we just shit. wore these masks, the president's own advisors have told him. We could save 100,000 lives. And we're in a circumstance where the president thus far and still has no plan, no comprehensive plan. 
What I would do is make sure we have everyone encouraged to wear a mask all the time. I would make sure we move in the direction of rapid testing, investing in rapid testing. I would make sure that we set up national standards as to how to open up schools and Not open yet, up Wendland. businesses so they can be safe. They're and all sleeping right now. With all the financial program. resources to be Test able to do trace. that. Yeah, We're in a yeah, situation we Americans will where never agree to that. The New England Medical yeah. Journal, one of the serious, most serious journals in the in the whole world, said for the first time ever that this, the way this president has responded to this crisis, has been absolutely tragic. And so, folks, I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. President Trump, I'd like to follow up with you and your comments. Oh, they're muting his mic. Talked about taking a therapeutic. I see yeah. you're referencing Regeneron. You also said a vaccine will be. We got coming. it. Within he didn't say it, but is it that a came guarantee? Out. Is, no, it's not is, a guarantee, but it will be by the end of the year. But I think it has a good oh, chance. Oh, the fire. Two or, wait, did we already do that, that one? Yeah, we weeks, did. Okay. And it will be distributed very quickly. Can you tell us which companies? Uh, Johnson and Johnson is doing very well. Oh, Moderna is doing like very well. Pfizer is doing very well, and Pfizer. we have numerous others. But then we also have others that Pfizer. we're working on very closely with other countries, in particular Europe. Let me follow up with you, and because this is new information, you have said a vaccine is coming soon within weeks now. Your own officials say it could take well into 2021 at the earliest for enough Americans to get vaccinated. And even then, they say the country will be wearing masks and distancing into 2022. Is your timeline realistic? No, I think my timeline is going to be more accurate. I don't know that they're <laughs> counting on the military the way I do, but we have our generals what? lined up, one in particular that's the head of logistics. Hmm. Oh, yeah, and we have the antivirus general now. For him, he's ready to go as soon as we have the vaccine. He's going to take it on. He'll wrestle the virus. Million vials this is like, we have the vaccine, this is exactly what, like, Vice President Biden, your reaction and, and just 40% and, uh, of Americans say Alex they Jones have predicted will happen for, like, years, right? If it was approved the, the, the military is going to mandatory. To the like hand out mandatory vaccine, and vaccination make sure it's totally to like cull the population uh, yeah, yeah. But because the, Trump's the, doing we'll it, it'll be fine it. like Look they won't it. even go through all the it. processes yeah, and yeah. by the way he's this is the same fellow who told you this is going to end by easter last time this is the same fellow who told you that don't worry we're going to end this by the summer we're about to go into a dark winter a dark winter and he has no clear plan, and there's no prospect that there's going to be a vaccine available. Can you imagine for being a Trump supporter and just pogging out of your mind year. every single President time Trump, that Donald Trump tells you there's no going to be a virus in two weeks, winter, every two weeks? All, we're opening up our country. We've learned and studied and understand the disease, which we didn't at the beginning. When I closed and banned China from coming in heavily infected, and then ultimately Europe, but China was in January. Months later, he was saying I was xenophobic. I did it too soon. Should, now he's saying, put this oh, on the I should have, yeah. uh, I should have, That's you know, such moved an easy quicker. Bingo. But yeah. he didn't move quicker. He was months behind me, many months behind me. Biden and said frankly, I was racist. He ran the H1 N1 swine Biden flu. Biden looks so smug right disaster, now. I love far it. Less lethal, but it was a total disaster. Had that had this kind of numbers. I don't know. I don't think it played well for Biden or Kamala, right actually. But it was a far less so lethal disease. Uh, look, I don't know. I think Joe Biden comes across as, as him, like when he's like who, got know, those smiles. His, I think he comes uh, across way better than Kamala did. Said, but that's just because he's a grandpa catastrophic, and he feels like he horrible. can't stop laughing. We didn't know what we were doing. Now he comes up and he tells us how to do this. Also, everything that he said about the way every single move that he said we should make. That's what we've done. We've done all of it. But he was way what? behind us. Vice President Biden, your response. My response is he is xenophobic, but not because he shut down access from China. And he did it late after 40 countries had already done that. In addition to that, what he did, he made sure that we had 44 people that were in there in China trying to get to Wuhan to determine what exactly the source was. What did the president say in January? He said, no, he said, this is, he's being transparent. The president of China is being transparent. We owe him a debt of gratitude. We, ought to, we have to thank him. And, and then what happened was we started talking about using the Defense Act to make sure we go out and get whatever is needed out there to protect people. And again, I go back to this. He had nothing. He did virtually nothing. And then he gets out of the hospital and he talks about, We're, this is, oh, don't worry. It's all going to be over soon. Come on.
There's not another serious scientist in the world who thinks it's going to be over soon. President Trump, your reaction? I say over soon. I say we're learning to live with it. We have no Whoa! choice. We can't lock ourselves up in a basement. Bad like look for Trump does. there. He has the <laughs> he has the ability to lock himself up. I don't know. He's obviously made a lot of money. There we go. Like, but he has I this told you. Thing about living do in it. A basement. Just, People can't I'm do that. Up. By the way, I, as the president, couldn't do that. I'd love to put myself in the basement or in a beautiful room in the White House and go away for a year and a half until I'm not going to be in there. That. I can't do that. But yeah, that was yeah. a blink every, reference. Every meeting I had. We'll every get there. Meeting I He's going to get them. meet a lot of families, including Gold Star families and military families. Every meeting hey, I had. And I had to meet Good them. to see you. I had to. It would be horrible to have canceled everything. I said, you know, this is dangerous. And you catch it. And, you know, I caught it. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Great doctors, great hospitals. And now I recovered. 99.9 of young people recover. 99% of people recover. That's literally we have not to true recover. anymore. We can't close up our There's nation. There's a huge report about how people between 25 and, and 44 have been hitting nation, way harder than they thought. We can't close up our nation, or you're not going to have a nation. Mm. And of course, the CDC has said young people can get sick with COVID-19 and can pass it. Vice President Biden, I want to talk broadly about strategy, though. You have I respond to that? 30 seconds, please, 30 and then I have a question. No, number one, he says that we're, uh, you know, we're learning to live with it. People are learning to die with it. You folks home will have an empty chair at the kitchen table this morning. That man or wife going to bed tonight and reaching over to try to touch their out of habit where their wife or husband was is gone. Learning to live with it. Come on. We're dying with it because he has never said, he said, you said it's dangerous. Mm. When's the last time? Is it really dangerous still? Are we dangerous? You tell the people it's dangerous now? What should they do about the danger? And you say, I take no responsibility. Let me talk about your two. Excuse me, I take, very full, I take full responsibility. <laughs> oh, it's he's not to get my mad. fault that he came here. It's China's fault. And you know what? It's Oof. not Joe's fault that he came here either. That's close it's to the China China's virus. Fault. They kept it from going into the rest of China Biden's for the most kind part. Of clumsy but in they didn't keep it from coming moment, out to the world, yes. including Europe and ourselves. Vice President Biden. The fact is that when we knew it was coming, when it hit, what happened? What did the president say? He said, don't worry, it's going to go away. Be gone by Easter. Don't worry. The warm weather. Don't worry. Maybe inject bleach. He said he was kidding when he said that. But a lot of people thought it was serious. A whole range of things the president has said. Even today, he thinks we are in control. We're about to lose 200,000 more people. President Trump. Look, perhaps just to finish this. Uh, I was kidding on that, but just to finish this. He was not kidding. When I closed, Holy shit. he said I shouldn't have closed. And that went on for months. What Nancy Pelosi said nope. the same thing. She was dancing on the streets in Chinatown in San Francisco. But when I closed, he said, this is a terrible thing. You're xenophobic. I think he called me racist even. And because I was closing it to China. Now he says I should have closed it earlier. It just, Joe, it doesn't work. I didn't say either of those things. You I certainly did. You Lucy, certainly and I did. did. I okay. talked about a xenophobia in a different context. It wasn't about closing the border to Chinese. That's actually true. Though. Coming to the United yeah. States. Uh, is, I want to uh, talk yeah, about yeah, both of your different strategies to handle. He thought this. I shouldn't have closed the border. Well, let's. That's exactly. obvious. Is that? Do you want to respond to that quickly, Vice President? <laughs> no. Okay. Let's talk about your different oh, no. strategies toward dealing with this, Mr. Vice President. You suggested you would support new shutdowns if scientists recommended it. What do you say to Americans who are fearful that the cost of shutdowns, the impact on the economy, the higher rates of hunger, depression, domestic and substance abuse outweighs the risk of exposure to the virus? What I would say is I'm going to shut down the virus, not the country. It's his ineptitude that caused the, vi that caused the country to have to shut down in large part. Yep. Why businesses have gone under, why schools are closed, why so many people have lost their living, and why they're concerned. Those other concerns are real. That's why he should have been, instead of in a sand trap in his golf course, he should have been negotiating Talk about the Nancy relief Pelosi bill, yeah. and the rest of the Democrats and Republicans about yep. what to Good. do about the acts they were passing for billions of dollars to make sure people had the capacity. But you haven't ruled out more shutdowns. Well, no, I, I'm not shutting down the name, but there are, look, you need standards. The standard is if you have a reproduction rate in a community that's above a certain level, everybody says, slow up, more social distancing, do not open bars and do not open gymnasiums, do not open until you get this under control, under more control. 
But when you do open, give the people the capacity to be able to open and have the capacity to do it safely. For example, mm. schools. Schools, they need a lot of money to open. They need to deal with ventilation systems. They need to deal with smaller classes, more teachers, more pods. And he's refused to support that money, or at least up to now. Let's talk about schools. President well, Trump, I, I you... think we have to respond, if I might. Please, and then I have a follow-up. Thank you, and I appreciate that. Look, all he does is talk about shutdowns, but forget about him. His Democrat Great. governors, Cuomo and New Democrat York. Governors. You look at what's going yep. on in California. Boom. You look at Pennsylvania, North Carolina. Boom. Democrats, Democrats all, they're shut down so tight, and they're dying. They're dying. And he supports all these people. All he talks about is shutdowns. No, we're not going to shut down, and we have to open our schools. This is what I was talking about the other like, day. As an example, Their strategy is straight up herd immunity at this point. He also tested positive. Mm -hmm. By the time I spoke to the doctor the second time, he was fine. It just went away. Young people, I guess it's their immune system. Let me follow up with you, President Trump. You've demanded schools open in person and insist they can do it safely. But just yesterday, Boston became the latest city yeah, to move it's herd its immunity public without saying out loud, entirely for sure. online yeah. after mm -hmm. a coronavirus spike. What is your message to parents who worry that sending their children to school will endanger not only their kids, but Gina. also their yep. teachers and families? I want Terrible. to open the schools. Uh, the transmittal rate to the teachers is... Uh, very small, but I want to open the schools. We have to open our country. We're not going to have a country. You can't do this. We can't keep this country closed. This is a massive country with a massive economy. People are losing their jobs. They're committing suicide. You There's don't get herd immunity through gi drugs at a level giving that people the disease either. Before. That's not There's how it abuse, works. You get herd immunity abuse. through vaccination. We have to Correct. open our country. Yep. You know, I've said it often. The cure cannot be worse than the problem itself. Nah, I should have put that one and on. And that's that. what's happening. And he wants to close down. He'll close down the country if one person in our in our massive bureaucracy says we should close it down. Vice President Biden, your Simply response. Simply not true. We ought to be able to walk and chew gum at the same time. We ought to be able to safely open. But would they need resources to open? You need to be able to, for example, if you're going to open a business, have social distancing within the business. You need to have, if you have a restaurant, you need to have plexiglass dividers so people cannot infect one another. You need to be in a position where you can take testing that, rapidly yeah. and know whether a person <laughs> is just go, in just fact floats infected. Around it. You need to be able to trace. You need to be able to provide the, all the resources that are needed to do this. And that is not inconsistent with saying that what I mean, also, make like, sure that people are just going to come in and out, way, right? All yeah. your teachers out there. You'd, you'd have to have somebody come in with, die, like, so don't worry about it. I don't know, so don't worry proper about PPE it. Come and come fucking President Trump, let me follow sterilize up. the well, area after this. every If you go every and look at what's happened eaten. to New York, yeah. it's a ghost town. It's a ghost town. Wait, New York is doing the best in the nation. What are you talking about? These restaurants that are dying. These are businesses with no money. Putting because. a plexiglass is unbelievably expensive, and it's not well, the answer. I mean, you're going to sit there the in a He wants to give them the money to do it, you dipshit. These are businesses that are dying, Joe. You can't do that to people. You Which just way? can't. Take a look at New York and what's happened to my wonderful city for, for so many years. I loved it. It was vibrant. It's dying. Everyone's leaving New York. Take a look Vice at President what New Biden. York has done in terms of the, turning the curve down in terms of the number yeah. of people dying. And I don't look at this in terms of the way he does. Blue states and red states. They're all the United States. And look at the states that are having such a spike in the coronavirus. They're the red states. They're the states in the Midwest. They're the states in the upper Midwest. That's where the spike is occurring significantly. But they're all Americans. They're all Americans. And what we have to do is say, wear these masks, number one. Make sure we get the help that the businesses need that has money's already been passed to do that. It's been out there since the beginning of the summer, and nothing's True. happened. True. It has. New York has lost more than 40 thousand people, 11,000 people in nursing homes. President Trump, what when about... When you say spike, take well, a look at what's happening in Pennsylvania, where they've had it closed. Take a look at what's happening with your friend in Michigan, where her husband's... Oh, exactly. It's, no drug. Not more, it's been like not more Whitmer. Now it was just ruled unconstitutional. Take a look at North Carolina. They're having spikes, and they've been closed. And they're getting killed financially. We can't let that happen, Joe. You can't let that happen. We have to open up 
And we understand the disease. We have to protect our seniors. We have to protect our elderly. We have to protect especially our seniors with heart problems and diabetes yes, problems. And we will protect them. We have the best testing in the world by far. That's why we have so many cases. Let me follow up with you before oh we move on God. to our next section. President Trump, this week you called Dr. Anthony Fauci, the nation's best known infectious disease expert, quote, a disaster. You described him and other medical experts as, quote, idiots. If you're not listening to them, who are you listening to? Let, let me, fight this? I'm listening to all of them, including Anthony. I get along very well with <laughs> Jesus but Christ. He did say, don't wear masks. Oh, he sorry about that, say, Kenowichi. I don't know what's up you with know, that. Could this be is not going to be a problem. Uh, I think he's a Democrat, but that's okay. He said, this is well, not going to be a problem. We are not going to have a problem at all. When Joe says that I said, Anthony Fauci said, and others, and many others, and I'm not knocking him a lot. Nobody knew. Look, nobody knew what this thing was. Nobody knew where it was coming from, what it was. We've learned Pretty a sure lot. They gave it a but name Anthony said, very don't quickly, wear right? a mask. Yeah. Yeah. Now wants to wear oh, COVID too. Anthony also said, <laughs> Pretty you look straight away, so we knew it was like exactly a derivative of SARS. This is no problem. This right. is going to go away soon. So he's allowed to I make mistakes. This stupid he happens to be a good mask. person. Vice President right. Biden, your so response dumb. quickly, and, and then we're going to move on to the next section. Our response to me. is that yeah. think about what the president knew in January and didn't tell the American people. He was told this was a serious virus that spread in the air, and it was much worse than much worse than the flu. He went on record and said to Wait, one did he of your say it was just a, tr just a flu? Recorded that in fact he knew how dangerous it was, but he didn't want to tell us. He didn't want to tell us because he didn't want us to panic. He didn't want us. Americans don't panic. He panicked. But guess what? In the meantime, we find out in the New York Times the other day that, in fact, his folks went to Wall Street and said this is a really dangerous thing. And a memo out of that meeting, not from his administration, but from some of the brokers, said sell short because we've got to get moving. It's a dangerous problem. Well, this is I'm going to give you 30 seconds to respond, and then we're going to move Street on. The Wall Street one, I don't know. Somebody went to Wall Street. You're the one that takes all the money from Wall Street. <laughs> I don't take it. What? I have. You, you have raised a lot of money, tremendous amounts of money. And every time you raise money, deals are made, Joe. I could raise so much more money as president and as somebody that knows most of those people. I could call the heads of Wall Street, the heads of every company in America. I would blow away every record, but I don't want to do that because it puts me in a bad position. Wait, and because it would be illegal, you, you fucking be piece of shit. Wall Street. Because right? You're the one yeah, that because that would be bribery, you fucking My idiot. Average. I could blow away your records. That, like, you wouldn't believe. We don't need money. We have plenty if of I money. Just, fact, if I just illegally accepted Clinton money from people directly, the then I would blow out right, your records. Don't tell on. me about Wall Street. The average we're contribution, $43. All right, we're going to move on to our next section, which is national security. And I do want to start with the security of our elections and some breaking news from overnight. Just last night, top intelligence officials confirmed again that both Russia and Iran are working to influence the hey, 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 Both hey. countries have obtained Talk U.S. You. voter registration information, oh, the I'm official getting say, close. and Iran sent intimidating I'm messages getting to close. Florida What the fuck voters. have you got that this I haven't? This question goes to you, Mr. Vice President. What no, would you do here's, I'm missing just a flu and Abe Lincoln. Two minutes I've got Iran and I've got Regeneron. Remember, we had different cards. I asked everyone else to take the pledge. I made it clear that any country, no matter oh, did who he say is, it is, uh, the, the, the mod did, will and he confirmed it. He was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." They will pay a price, and it's been overwhelmingly clear this election. I won't even get into the last one. This election, that Russia has been involved, China has been involved to some degree, and now we learn that that uh, that uh, Iran is involved. They will pay a price if I'm elected. They're interfering with American sovereignty. That's what's going on right now. They're interfering with American You should have put sovereignty. hard on China for Biden. To the best of my knowledge, I don't think the president <laughs> said anything to Putin about it. I don't think he's talking to them a lot. I don't think he said a word. I don't know why he hadn't said a word to Putin about it. And I don't know what he has recently said, if anything, to the Iranians. My guess is he'd probably be more outspoken with regard to the Iranians. But the point is this, folks. We are in a situation where we have Heck foreign company countries trying to interfere in the outcome of our election his own own national security advisor told him that what is happening with his buddy well i, won't, I shouldn't well oh, i will his buddy rudy giuliani he's being oh. used as a russian pawn he's being fed information that is I should, russian all right fine i will not true. <laughs> and then what happens nothing happens. evil biden is so much more fun everything is going on here about Russia is one should have just been sure like his buddy I jacking off in the hotel the room the United States because <laughs> they know I know them and they know me 
I don't understand why Rudy, this president is unwilling to take on Putin Whoops. when he's actually paying bounties to kill American soldiers in Afghanistan, when he's Oof. engaged in activities that are okay, trying to destabilize all of too. NATO. Oh. I don't know why he doesn't do it, but it's worth asking the question, why isn't that being done? Any country that interferes with us will, in fact, pay a price because they're affecting our sovereignty. President Trump, same question to you. To let, me a, let me ask the yes. question. You're going to have two minutes yes. to respond. For two elections in a row now, there has been substantial interference from foreign to adversaries. Every election. What would you do in your yeah, next term to put an end to this? Two minutes uninterrupted. Well, let me respond to Old the first part. jacking it, Rudy. Joe answered. Joe got $3.5 million from Russia, and it came through Putin because he was very friendly with the former mayor of Moscow, and it was the mayor of what? Moscow's wife. And you got three and a half million dollars. Your theory? family got three and a half million dollars. And, uh, you know, someday you're going to have to explain why theory. did you get three and a half. Is I never got any money no? from Russia. I don't get money from hey? Russia. Oh, it's the about hunter, your thing last was night. I knew all about shit. that. It's and before the laptop thing. John, <sighs> who is John yeah. Ratliff, who is fantastic, he and I, he said the one got thing that's million dollars common thing to both of them, they both want you to lose. Because there has been nobody tougher to Russia with but between the sanctions. It to Russia, nobody which tougher is than me on Russia. Between the sanctions, close. between yeah. all of what I've done with NATO. You know, I've got the NATO countries to put up an extra one hundred and thirty billion going to four hundred and twenty billion dollars a year. That's to guard against yeah. Russia. It looked like I Biden sold, was genuinely well, he was selling there. pillows and sheets. I was. I sold tank busters to Ukraine. There has been nobody tougher. Well, yeah, what? so that was, that was some of the Biden and shit. I'll tell you, uh, they sorry, were so bad. They took over the, okay. the so we, submarine does that count? port. You remember that I think very so. well? I think we get going to slam. So during like during you and I'm sure Barack Obama, again, I'm sure. they took over a big part we'll of count that one. what should have been Ukraine. You handed it to them. But you were getting a lot of money from Russia. They were paying you yeah. a lot of money. And they probably still are. Yeah. But um, now, um, with what came yeah. out today, yeah, yeah, it's even it. worse. Yeah, All of the laptop. emails, the emails, yeah, the horrible go. emails of the kind of money that you were raking in, you and your family. And Joe, you were vice president when some of this was happening. And it should have never happened. And I think you owe an explanation to the American people. Why is it? Somebody just had a news conference a little while ago who was essentially supposed to work with you and your family. But what he said was damning. And regardless of me, I think you have to clean it up and talk to the American people. Maybe you can do it right now. I don't think now. it's going to sell as well as Hillary's emails. Vice it's just President more boring. Biden, you may respond. Hillary's Please emails was like a big... And I do like want to follow up on the election security. It was, I have not wrong, taken but a penny from any foreign source ever in my life. We learned that this president paid 50 times the tax in China. Ah, Chinese taxes. With China does business in China, and in fact, <laughs> is talking about me taking money. I have not taken a single penny from any country whatsoever, ever, number one. Number two, know, that's true, Biden, this is a president. I, I have released all of my tax returns, 22 years. Go look at them. Oh, he does actually. He does have more returns. documents available than Trump does. He can at least say that. Your tax is, return. What are you hiding? Why oh, are you unwilling? The foreign countries are paying you a lot. Russia's paying you a lot, China's paying you a lot, and your hotels and all your businesses all around the country, all around the world. And China's building a new road to a new ga a, a, a golf course you have overseas. So what's going on here? Why don't release your tax return or stop talking about corruption? President Trump, your response. First of all, I called my accountants under audit. Oh, I'm going to release them as soon as we can. He's and been under audit for how long now, four years? This company like, is but he's much been more claiming it for five that. since People the original election 750 dollars yeah. i asked them a week ago i said some what did they, pay? they said sir you prepaid tens of millions of dollars i prepaid my tax tens like, over the last number of years everybody has to do that fucking tens i have to do that tens of millions of dollars i prepaid because at some point they think it's an estimate they think i may have to pay tax so I already prepaid it. Nobody I told me that. Nobody tell told you, you that. Even though the IRS is like, and no, you're literally not under, this, like, your, your hands are not tied. $750, which I think is a filing fee. But let me just tell you, I prepaid millions and millions of dollars in taxes, number one. Number two, I don't make money from China. You do. Yeah, that's true. I don't make true. money from Ukraine. You do. That's I true, I don't young. make money from Russia. You made three and a half million dollars, Joe. And your son gave you, they even have a statement that we have to give 10% to the big man. You're the big man, I think. I don't know, maybe what not. What the fuck is this? I think. 
You sense it. We have to give ten yeah. percent to the big. This men. can't be selling Joe, good to anybody but the most fervent Trump supporters. All right, gentlemen, right I want to ask you both some questions about all of this. But I'm going to let you both respond very quickly. You just said you Give spoke to your counsel about potentially releasing your taxes. Did he tell you when you can release them? Do you oh have a the deadline for when you're going to release them? I get American treated people? worse than the Tea Party got treated. Thing about ten percent. We have a lot of people in there. Deep down in the IRS, they treat me poorly. We made a deal. It was all settled until I decide to run for president. I get treated very badly by the IRS, very unfairly. But we had a deal all done. As soon as we're completed with the deal, I want to release it. But I have paid millions and millions of dollars, and I, it's worse than paying. I paid in advance. It's called prepaying your taxes. Okay. I paid in advance. I want to ask you yep. both about questions regarding your potential foreign entanglements and questions that have been raised to give you both a chance Some to talk about this is. more broadly. Respond very quickly, and then I'll get to my question. Oh, oh Why okay. did he, he's been saying this for four years. Show us. Just show us. Stop playing around. You've been saying for four Everybody years you're going to release your taxes. Nobody knows it, Mr. President. What they do okay. know is you're not paying your taxes, or your paying taxes that are so low. When last time he said what he paid, he said, I only pay that little because I'm smart. I know how to game the system. Yep. Come on. True. Come on, folks. So, so President Trump, and then I want to get to two questions to both of you sure. on this. I was put through a phony witch hunt for three years. It started before I even got elected. They spied on my campaign. No president should ever have to go through what I went through. Let me just say this. Mueller <laughs> and 18 angry Democrats and FBI agents all over the place spent $48 million. Trump is definitely not on this game They went through tonight. everything I had, including my tax returns, and they found absolutely no collusion and nothing wrong. Are you wrong. kidding me? Like, 48 million. When, I guarantee when, like, you if I spent of your one million on you, like, Joe, I could find plenty charges. wrong. Because Robin the kind of things that you've prison? done and the kind he of money that Roger your family Stone has Because Roger Stone was in fucking I mean, jail for his work with the Iraq. campaign. Millions of dollars. Your they other brother, of brother made a fortune. And it's all through you, Joe. They said they just didn't want to prosecute like a sitting president because they didn't know what You have houses all over the place. You live very well. All right, gentlemen, let me just ask some questions. There's a restriction on it. Biden, there have yeah, been questions really about the work your son has done in China and for a Ukrainian Gosh, energy company when you were vice yeah. president. In retrospect, was anything about those relationships inappropriate or unethical? Nothing was unethical. Here's what the deal. With regard to Ukraine, we had this whole question about whether or not, because he was on the board, I later learned of a Burisma, a company, that somehow I had done something wrong. Yet every single solitary person, when he was going through his impeachment, testifying under oath who worked for him, said, I did my job impeccably. I carried out U.S. policy. Not one single solitary thing was out of line. Not a single thing, number one. Number two, the guy who got in trouble in Ukraine was this guy trying to bribe the Ukrainian government to say something negative True, about me. True, he did get which in trouble for that. Which they would not do and did not do because it never, Whoops. ever, ever happened. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about, uh, what are you talking about, China. I have not had it. The only guy made money from China is this guy. He's the only one. Nobody else has made money from China. Never President Trump, this is just very let, much let me like, ask my question no, to you. you. Uh, could I just no, one, one thing? Very quick. It's actually already get tacked from the didn't have a job the, for a long time. Right. Was sadly like the whole no Hunter Biden in the military laptop service. Ships. I won't get yes. into that. Oh, it's so much and more boring than Hillary's, though. As soon as he became vice president, yeah. Barisma, not, not the best look, not the best reputation in the world. I hear they paid him 183000 a month. Listen to this. 183, and they gave him a $3 million True, upfront pay. All right. And he had no I'm, energy. I'm going to let the Vice President That's respond to that quickly, and then I need to get to a question to you. Very no quickly, basis for that. Everybody investigated that. No one said anything he did was wrong in Ukraine. Okay, President Trump, this is for you. Since you took office, you've never divested from your business. You've personally promoted your properties abroad. Yeah, kind of funny well, for him to talk about corruption with that fact still floating over him. Your company has a bank account in China. So how can voters know that you don't have any foreign conflicts of interest? I have many bank accounts, and they're all listed, and they're uh -oh. all over the place. I mean, I was a businessman doing business. Hmm. The bank account weird, you're referring Gina. to, which is to everybody it. knows about it, it's listed. The bank account was in... 2013. That's what it was. It was opened and do. It was closed in 2015, I believe. Wait, wasn't it still? And then I decided yeah, because open. I was going to do. I was yeah. thinking about doing a deal mm. in China, like 
millions what, what of other people. That? I'll I look was into thinking it. about it, and I decided I'm not going to do it. Didn't like it. I decided not to do it. Had an account open, and I closed it. Could be and that I, too. Excuse me. And then, unlike him, where he's vice president and he does business, I then decided to run for president after that. That was before. So I closed it before I even ran for president, let alone became president. Big difference. He is no the vice exactly president of the United them. States, and his son, his brother, and his other brother are getting rich. Yeah, Twitch in They're like a vacuum cleaner. They're sucking okay, up okay, money president every Trump, place thank you. Goes. We do it's need to true. move on. I do want to ask you, uh, Vice President Biden, about China. Let's talk about China more oh boy, broadly. There, there have, of course, President Trump has said that they should pay for not being fully transparent in regards to the coronavirus. If you were president, would you make China pay? And please be specific, what would that look like? What I'd make China do is play by the international rules, not like he has done. He has caused the deficit of China to go up, not down, with China, up, not down. We are making sure that in order to do business in China, you have to give all your intellectual property. You have to get a, have a partner in China. It's 51 percent. We would not do that at all, number one. Number two, we're in a situation where China would have to play by the rules internationally as well. When I met with Xi that, and uh, when I was still vice president, he said we're setting up air identification zones in the, in the South China Sea. You can't fly through them. I said, we're going to fly through them. We just flew B-52, B-1 bombers through it. We're not going to pay attention. They yeah, have Trump's to way play off his game by tonight. the rules. And what's he do? He embraces guys like thugs attention. like in North Korea and and uh, and the Chinese president and Putin and others. God and bless he the pokes United his finger and I have all of our friends, all of our allies. <laughs> we make up only we we're 25 percent, 25 percent of the world's economy. We need to be having the rest of our friends with us saying to China, these are the rules. You play by them or you're going to pay the price for not paying by them economically. That's the way I will run it. And that's what we did in upholding steel tariffs and a range of other things when we were president and vice president. All right. That's let's talk about North Korea. Oh, 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 excuse me. No, I have to yes. respond to that. Okay. <laughs> Very quickly. And then Sun we're going to move on to the North Korea. Half dollars from China to not manage true. after spending 10 minutes in office and being in Air Force Two, number one. Number two. There's a very strong email talking about oh. your family wanting to make $10 million a year for introductions. President introductions. Trump, on China Not policy, true. though, what no, specifically no, but are you going to do? What specifically are you going to do to make China pay? You've said you're going to make all, them pay. China is paying. They're paying billions and billions of dollars. I just gave $28 new billion. Dollars new sanctions? I just gave we $28 actually do billion live in dollars such a ridiculous farmers. world. Taxpayers' China. money. <laughs> it's what? Taxpayers' money. No, no, yeah, China. you know the taxpayer is, it's called China. China Not paid true. $28 billion, and you know what they did to pay it, Joe? They devalued their currency, and they also paid up. And you know who got the money? Our farmers, our great farmers, because they were targeted. Mm. You never charged them anything. Also, Strong email. I charged them 25% on dumped steel because they were killing our steel industry. We were not going to have a steel industry. Okay. And now we have a steel okay. industry. Okay, Vice President Biden, your response, please. My response is, look. He, like, killed the steel, about, industry, the steel industry, though. Like, when he started his tariffs on um, Chinese steel, it, like, he fucking want to talk about killed, the, like, how many jobs? Issues. It's not about his family and my family. Yep. It's about your family. I remember reading your about it at the time, badly. like how bad his fucking you're making less tariff than, war with China if you're was. A -class family, yeah, it's been really you're bad. You're getting it's been a disaster. hurt badly right now. Huh. You're sitting at the kitchen table this morning deciding, well, we can't get new tires or ball because we have to wait another month or so. Or are we going to be able to pay the mortgage? Or who's going to tell her she can't go back to, to community college? They're the decisions you're making in the middle class families like I grew up in Scranton and Claymont. They're in trouble. We should be talking about your families, but that's the last thing he wants to talk about. I want to, a I want to talk about statement. North Korea. Me, I do want to second, turn to please. 10 seconds, Mr. President, that's 10 seconds. That's a typical seconds. political statement. Let's get off this China thing, and then he looks. The family, around the table, everything. Just right. a typical politician when I see that. Let's well, talk I'm about North Korea. I'm not a typical Korea politician. Okay, that's President. why I got elected. That let's was, talk let's about get off the subject of China. Let's talk around, sitting around the table. All right. 
Come on, Joe, you can do better. We're going to talk about North Korea <laughs> now. President Trump, you've met with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un Holy three shit. times. You've talked about your beautiful letters with him. You've touted the fact that there hasn't been a war or a long-range missile test. And yet North Korea recently rolled out its biggest ever intercontinental ballistic missile and continues to develop its nuclear arsenal. Do you see that as a betrayal of the relationship you no. forged? Somebody with a blow dart on the side of the stage just shot some so cocaine when I met with Barack into his fucking Obama, nose. They were like, we sat in the White House. And the rock right went right Beginning, had a great conversation. It was supposed to be 15 now he's minutes, up. and it was well over. He's just an hour. getting super he angry because he's getting North, fucking North deleted. Yo. He indicated we will be in a war. Especially on that North corruption Korea. thing. Guess what? Really kind of it would be a nuclear war. Well. And he does have plenty of nuclear capability. In the meantime, I have a very good relationship with him. Different kind of a guy, but he probably thinks the same thing about me. We have a different kind of a relationship. We have a very good relationship, mm. and there's no war. And you know, about oh, two months ago, he broke into a certain area. They said, oh, there's going to be trouble. I said, no, they're not, because he's not going to do that. And I was right. Look, instead of being in a war Sorry, where millions where of people sold, you know, is 25 I miles no away, idea. millions and millions, 32 million people sold. Somewhere. Millions of people yeah. would be okay. dead right now. President we Trump, that's 30 seconds. Thank you. Vice President Biden, to you, North Korea conducted four nuclear tests under the Obama administration. This isn't something Why do you that think we've you had. would be able to rein in this persistent threat? Because right I'd make it clear, which we were making clear to China, they had to be part of the deal. Because here's the re I made it clear, and as a spokesperson of the administration, when I went to China, that they said, no, it Why is weird. I agree. It's under my belt. Up so close. It's Why weird. are you moving more forces here? Why are you continue to do? Uh, um, uh, m military maneuvers with South Korea. I said, because North Korea is a problem and we're going to continue to do it so we can control them. We're going to make sure we can control them and make sure they cannot hurt us. And so if you want to do something about it, step up and help. If not, it's going to continue. What has he done? He's legitimized North Korea. He's talked about his good buddy who's a thug, a thug, and he talks about how we're better off. And they are have much more capable missiles, able to reach U.S. territory much more easily than ever did before. Let me follow up with you, Vice President Biden. You've said you wouldn't meet with Kim Jong-un without preconditions. Are there any conditions under which you would meet with him? On the condition that he would agree that he would be drawing down his nuclear capacity to get that the Korean Peninsula should be nuclear-free zone. All right, let's move on to American yeah, very clear answer. They tried very to quickly, meet with 10 him. Seconds, President. They tried to meet with him. He I wouldn't didn't. do it. He didn't like Obama. He didn't like him. He wouldn't do it. Okay, you know, I gotta give fact, him a chance to respond to that before he wouldn't we move do on. It. And no that's way. okay. You know what? North Korea, we're not in a war. We have a good relationship. You know, people don't understand. Having a good relationship Trump, with leaders of other countries is a good thing. thing. We have a lot of questions to get <laughs> yes. to. Not Your response. We had a good relationship with Hitler before he, in fact, invaded Europe. Oh, no, Come not on. Godwin's law. The, the reason he would not meet with President Obama is because President Obama said, we're going to talk about denuclearization. We're not going to legitimize you, and we're going to continue to put stronger and stronger sanctions on you. That's why he wouldn't meet with us. All right, let's and it didn't move happen. on. Let's Excuse move me. on and talk about American fucking me a mess, Chris. President Trump, okay, fucking they they need to left me a mess. North He's Korea was bluff. a mess. We and in fact, if you so remember the first two or three months, tonight, there was a very Trump. dangerous period of my first three months yeah, before we sort of worked things Come out on. a little bit. Okay. There was a very Go on, girl. They left us a Cut mess. The and mic. Obama would be, I think, the first to Fail. say it was the single biggest problem he Who's hosting this? our country. Okay, let's move on to American families and the economy. One of the issues that's most is important she? to them is health care, as you both know. Today, there was a key Holy vote on a new shit. Supreme Court justice, Amy Coney Barrett, and health care is at the center of her confirmation hey, there's ACB. Over 20 I mean, million Americans get their ACB, health insurance through the help. Affordable Care yeah. Act. It's headed to the Supreme Court. Let's see. And your one of them says it again, we'll count it. is advocating for the court to overturn it. If the Supreme Court does overturn that law, those 20 million Americans could lose their health insurance almost overnight. So what would you do if those people have their health insurance taken away? You have two minutes uninterrupted. Sure. First of all, I've already done something that nobody thought was possible. <laughs> Through the legislature, I terminated the individual mandate. That is the worst part of Obamacare, as we call it. The individual mandate where you have to pay a fortune for the privilege of not having to pay for bad health insurance. What? I terminate it. It's gone. Now it's in court because Obamacare is no good. But then I made a decision. Run it as well as you can to my people, great people. Run it as well as you can. I could have gone the other route and made everybody very unhappy. They ran it. 
Uh, premiums are down. Everything's down. Here's the problem. No matter how well you run it, it's no good. What we'd like to do is terminate it. We have the individual mandate done. I don't know that it's going to work. If we don't win, we will have to run it, and we'll have Obamacare, but it'll be better run. But it no longer is Obamacare, because without the individual mandate, it's much different. Pre-existing conditions will always about? stay. What I would like to do is a much better health care, much better, will always protect people with pre-existing. So I'd like to terminate Obamacare, come up with a brand new, beautiful health care. The Democrats will do it because there'll be tremendous pressure on them, and we might even have the House by that time. And I think we're going to win the House, OK? You'll see, but I think we're going to win the House. But come up with a better health care, always protecting people He's all over with pre-existing conditions. And one thing very important, uh -huh. we have 180 million people out there that Orange have great healthcare. private True. health care far more than we're talking about with Obamacare. Joe Biden is going to terminate all of those policies. These are people that love their health care, people that have been successful, middle-income people, been successful. They have 180 million plans, 180 million people, families. Under what he wants to do, which will basically be socialized medicine, he won't even have a choice, they want to terminate 180 million plans. Coming close we have to done the an Dem incredible commies. job on health care. And we're going to do even better. Okay. Vice they President cut his mic. Biden, yes, this is for you. They Your cut his mic. Calls for building on Obamacare. So my question is, what is your plan if the yeah, law no. is ruled unconstitutional that was great. by the Supreme Court? You Too bad they didn't do it earlier, though. Interrupted. What I'm going to do is pass. Damn, Obamacare only 965 G. Damn. From Biden care. The public option is an option that says that if you, in fact, do not have the wherewithal to be, if you qualify for Medicaid and you do not have the wherewithal in your state to get Medicaid, you automatically are enrolled, providing competition for insurance companies. That's what's going to happen. Secondly, we're going to make sure we reduce the premiums and reduce drug prices by making sure that there's competition that doesn't exist now by allowing the Medicare to negotiate drug prices with the insurance companies. Thirdly, the idea that I want to eliminate private insurance, the reason why I had such a fight for, with 20 candidates for the nomination was I support private insurance. That's yes. why I did not one single Weak. person with private insurance would lose their insurance <laughs> under Weak my plan, Biden. nor did they Wah. under Wah. Obamacare. They did not lose their insurance unless they chose they wanted to Wah. go to something Wah. else. Lastly, we're going to make sure we're in a Boomer situation moment. that we actually protect pre-existing. There's no way he can protect pre-existing conditions. None. Zero. You can't do it in the ether. He's been talking about this for a about long time. Part, yeah. There is no, he's never come up with a plan. I guess we're going to get the pre-existing condition plan the same time we get the infrastructure plan that we've been waiting for since 17, 18, 19, and 20. The fact, I still have a, little, a few more minutes. I know you're getting anxious. The, uh, <laughs> the fact is that there, he's already cost the American people because of his terrible handling of the COVID virus and the economic spillover. 10 million people have lost their private insurance. And he wants to take away 22 million more people who have it under Obamacare and over 110 million people with pre-existing conditions. And all the people from COVID are going to have pre-existing conditions. What are they going to do? I have a follow-up for you, Vice President sure, Biden. It relates to something that President Trump Started said. Weak, He's accusing Trump. you of wanting socialized medicine. Mm. What do you say to people who have concerns that your health care plan, which includes a government insurance option, takes the country one step closer to a health care system run entirely by the government? What's your I say it's ridiculous. It's like saying that, you know, we're uh, the idea that the fact that there's a public option that people can choose. That makes it a socialist plan. Look, the difference between the president, I think health care is not a privilege, it's a right. Everyone should have the right to have affordable yeah, health care. And I am very hey, proud of go. my plan. It's gotten endorsed by all the well, major labor affordable unions, as well as, yeah. as well as a whole range of other people who, in but fact, health care is a right in the catching on. field. This is something Start. that's going to save people's lives, and this is going to give some people an opportunity an right. opportunity to have health care for their right. children. How many of you home are worried and rolling around in bed tonight wondering what in God's name you're going to do if you get sick because you've lost your home insurance, your, your, your health insurance, your company's gone under? We have to provide health insurance Ooh. for people Trump's at an mad. affordable rate, and that's what I do. 
President Trump, Excuse me, he was your there response. for 47 years. He didn't do it. He was now there as vice <laughs> president a for eight line. years. And it's not like it was 25 years ago. It was three and three quarters. It was just a little while ago, right? Less than four years ago. He didn't do anything. He didn't do it. He wants socialized medicine. And it's not that he wants it. His vice president, I mean, she is, is more liberal than Bernie Sanders and wants it even more. Bernie what? Sanders wants it. The Democrats want it. You're going to have socialized medicine, just like you went with fracking. We're not going to have fracking. We're going to stop fracking. We're going to stop fracking. Then he goes to Pennsylvania after he gets a nomination, where he got very lucky to get it. And he goes to Pennsylvania, <laughs> and he says, oh, we're going to have fracking. And you never ask that question. And by the way, so far, I respect very much the way you're handling this, I have to say. By the way. But somebody should ask the question. You can ask he, the he goes for a year. There will be we no have a, fracking. We, have, there we will do be have no a number of here. we have a number of topics. Jesus, Trump, to shut the fuck up. We're going to get to we're, we're going to get to I, I, it's the same topics. thing with socialized medicine. I have to respond, Vice President, your response, please. My response is people deserve to have affordable health care. Period. Period. Just period. Kind period. of starting like Chris and Wallace. Right? Chris Wallace took a while to get properly pissed off with Trump. Yeah, yeah. Lower premiums. What we're going to do is going to cost some money. Infuriating. It's going to cost over seven hundred fifty billion dollars over ten years. I can't imagine trying to get involved with Trump. Lower premiums. You can buy into the better plans, the cheaper plans. Lower your premiums. Deal with unexpected billing and have your drug prices drop significantly. He keeps talking about it. He hasn't done a thing for anybody on health care. Not a thing. Tristan, when Very he quickly, says, then I want to talk about he what's happening on Capitol Hill. He's talking about socialized medicine and, when he, and, and health care. When he talks about a public option, he's talking about destroying your Medicare, totally Wrong. destroyed, and destroying your Social Security. What? And this whole country well, will come down. Donald Trump you know, wanted Sanders to cut Social Security. He wanted state. to cut the tax that makes Social state. Security His possible. Was a very the fuck is he talking about? Okay, it, let's hear it. Was, let's let that was President Donald Biden Trump's work. thing. Vice work. President He's Biden a very response. confused guy. He thinks he's running against Joe <laughs> Biden. I beat all those other people because I disagreed with them. Joe Biden. Is <laughs> He's a the very confused guy. We're in a situation that they're going to destroy Medicare. This is the guy that the actuary at Medicare said, if in fact, at Social Security, I'm if dying. in fact he continues to very withhold confused, man. his plan to withhold the oh, tax on Social Security, Social Security will be bankrupt in by 2023. <laughs> Biden's There's on it no tonight. no way to make it's true. Up That's literally this true. This is the guy who's tried to cut Medicare. So though I don't I mean the idea that he cut Donald Medicaid Trump too. He also cut SNAP on Social Security and Medicare. Come on, man. Come, Come on, on, man. He tried to, get rid of, he tried to hurt Social to Security years ago. Years ago. Go back and look at the records. He tried to hurt Social Security years ago. All One right, thing, let's move but on. This I'm going to move on. Let me, Mr. President, I have to move week, on to the next question. They said the stock market will boom if I'm elected. If he's elected, the stock market will crash. Why are they cut his mic? This is okay, why they should be cutting his mic. Let's move on to the next question. The Very respond. quickly. Look, the idea that the stock market is booming is his only yeah, yeah, true, of Jan. what's happening. Where I come from in Scranton and Claymont, the people don't live off of the stock market. Just in the, uh, just in the last three, uh, three years during this crisis, the, the billionaires in this country made, according to the Wall Street, $700 billion more dollars. $700 billion more dollars because that's his only measure. What happens to the ordinary Get people out there? Huh? What yeah, happens to them? Answer. Let's yep. talk about what's happening on Capitol Hill. We're, we're going to move on, 401ks gentlemen. are through the roof. <laughs> we're going to move on. stock are through the roof. Right. And he doesn't come from Scranton. Silence That's him. Like one of the, he lived there for a short period gonna, of time before okay, he even knew we're it. We're going to move on to the next question. And the people can't of Pennsylvania look good. Let me move on to my that. next question, they gentlemen. Understand. As of tonight, more than 12 million people are out of work. And as of tonight, 8 million more Americans have fallen into poverty. And more families are going hungry every day. Those hit hardest are women and people of color. They see Washington fighting over a relief bill. Mr. President, why huh? haven't you been able to get them the help they need? 30 seconds here. Because Nancy Checking Pelosi doesn't want to approve it. I do. Uh, but you're the president. I do, Biden but I still cross. have to get. Unfortunately, that's one of the reasons I think we're yeah. going to take over the House because of her. Nancy Pelosi doesn't want to approve anything because she'd love to have some victories on a date called November 3rd. Nancy Pelosi does what? not want to approve it. We are ready, willing, and able to do something. Don't forget, we've he, already he approved three plans. Literally and it's gone through, including the Democrats, in all fairness. This one she doesn't want. It's near he the election. He crashed the stock because market she thinks with it his helps tweet. Her politically. Everyone I think it knows hurts this. Her politically. All right, Mr. Way, Vice President. You know, the Republican leader in the, in the United States Senate said he can't pass it. He will not be able to pass it. 
He does not have Republican votes. Why isn't he talking to his Republican friends? Let me follow up with you, True. Vice President We made a Biden, deal because the Republicans let me, let me ask asking. Vice President Biden a question. You are the leader of the Democratic Party. Why have you not pushed the Democrats to get a deal for the American people? Well, I have, and they have pushed it. Look, they passed this act all the way back in the beginning of the summer. They did. This is like it's not new. It's been out there. This HEROES Act has been sitting there. And look at what's happening. Angry Joe. When I was in charge of the Recovery Act with $800 billion. I was able to get $145 billion to local communities that have to balance their budgets and states that have to balance their budgets. So then have to fire fire they have to fire firefighters, teachers, first responders, law enforcement officers, so they can keep their cities and counties running. He will not support that. They have not done a thing for them. And Mitch McConnell said, let them go bankrupt. Let him go bankrupt. Come on. What's the matter the with this guys? The bill that was passed Whoops. in the House was a bailout of badly run, high Democrat. crime, Democrat, <laughs> all run by Democrats, cities and states. Mm. It was a way of getting a lot of money, billions and billions of dollars to these kids. It was also a way of getting a lot of money from our people's pockets to people that come into our country illegally. We were going to take care of everything for them. And what that does, and I'd love to do that, I'd love to help them, but what that does, everybody all over go, the world will start pouring into our country. Yes. We can't do it. This was a way of taking care me. of Thank them. You, Vaughn. This was a way of spending on things pompos. that had nothing to do with COVID, as per your question. But it was really a big bailout for badly run Democrat cities and uh, states. All right, way, I want to. If I get elected, I'm not going to. I'm running as a proud Fruities. Democrat, but I'm going to be an American president. I don't see red states and blue states. What I see is American, United States. And folks, every single this state out there message. finds themselves in trouble. Up. They're going to start laying off, the whether they're red or blue. Fun. Cops, firefighters, first responders, because teachers, actually because they here. have to balance their budget. Right. And the founders were it smart. Was, they allowed the federal government to you deficit know, spend uh, to compensate the whole thing for the United States of the America. Country. I want to talk yeah, about yeah. the minimum wage, so gentlemen. Divided Mr. Vice and President, and like we are talking a lot about and stuff. struggling like, small businesses. This is the kind of thing we need playing to. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think this is the right time to ask them to the raise the minimum wage? The bipartisan thing, but like a more wholesome yeah. version. I do, because I think one of the things we're going to have yeah, to do yeah. is we're like going to have a, to bail them out, too. It's a version for the common person. We should be bailing them out now. Those yep. small businesses, well, actually, you got one in six of them going under. They're argument. not going to be able to make it back. They passed a, pa a, a package that allows us to be able to call PPP. Money is supposed to yeah, go to help them do everything from organize how they can <laughs> deal with their businesses but, uh, being open safely. <laughs> Wait, what you said? Uh, I was saying to the, we're all Americans. <laughs> well, obviously not me. <laughs> yeah. <Tosses. laughs> Thank businesses fuck. as well yeah, as the schools class. need the help. But this these guys will not help them is not giving them any of the money we are going to move so on they, to immigration one, one thing very quickly, but i want to say we have reaction. to help our small businesses by raising the minimum wage that's not helping uh, i think right. it should be a state option alabama is different than new york new york is different from mm. vermont every state is different it should be a state mm. you said very we have to help. it's very important we have to help our small businesses you, you how are you helping your small businesses when you're forcing wages what's going to happen and what's been proven to happen is when you do that these small businesses fire many of the literally the opposite was proven by the way. literally the opposite the was proven wage to 15 dollars they raise the minimum wage it turns out businesses stay around what I really because like. there's a lot of benefits to doing business here to an extent even if you have a high inflation what i in a second administration but not to a level that's going to put all these businesses out of business it should be a state option look every I've lived in different places i know different places they're all different some places 15 dollars is not so bad in other places other states 15 dollars okay would be president ruinous. trump thank no, you quick no response vice president Biden. two jobs one job be below poverty People are making six, seven, eight bucks an hour. These first responders, we all clap for as they come down the street because they've allowed us to make it. What's happening? They deserve a minimum wage of fifteen dollars. Anything below that puts you below the poverty level. Mm -hmm. and he there stepped is no it up to Bernie's that when line. Raise the minimum wage, businesses go out of business. But that they, is yeah. simply not true. We're going to talk about immigration. We're going to talk about immigration. They ditched the now, thirteen gentlemen. and they said fifteen. And we're going to talk about families within this. Pog, Mr. President, your administration. That's Bernie's separated line. Children from their parents. Yeah, we got the, the Bernie border. emotes. Get some Bernies in chat. Kids. You've since reversed your zero tolerance policy, but the United States can't locate the parents of more than 500 children. So how will these Oof, families ever be reunited? Well. 
Children are brought here um, by coyotes have a and name lots color. of bad people, cartels, and they're brought here, and they used to use them to get into our country. We now have Sorry, as strong here by borders coyotes. as we've ever had. We're over 400 miles of Mexican brand new gang wall. Name that I you see know. the numbers. Uh, and we yeah, let I think people it's a term, in, but they yeah. have to come in legally, and they come in through But America. how will you reunite let me these just tell kids you. with their families, let me just tell you. Mr. President? They built cages. You know, they used to say, I built the cages. And then they had a picture in a certain newspaper. And it was a picture of these horrible cages. Yeah, yeah, that's said, what I was referring these cages. to. Peacraft. President Trump built them. And then it was determined they were built in 2014. That was him. Do you they have a plan cages. to reunite the kids? Yes, with we're their working families? on it very, we're, we're trying very hard. But a lot of these kids come out without the parents. They come over through cartels and through coyotes and through gangs. Vice President Biden, let me bring you into this conversation. Quick response and then another question to you. These 500 plus kids came with parents. Yeah. They separated them at the yeah. border to make it a disincentive to come to begin with. Big, real Oops. tough. We're really strong. And guess what? They cannot, it's not coyotes didn't bring them over. Their parents were with them. They got yep. separated from their parents. These were separated children. And it children. makes us a laughing stock and violates every notion of who we are as a nation. True! Let me ask you a follow-up question. they did it. We changed the policy. Your response they to that? They did it. We, we changed. did not. They separate built the cages. The they, they didn't separate Who built children? the cages, let's, Joe? Let's talk about what who we're built talking the cages, about. Let's Joe? Let's talk about what we're talking about. What happened? Parents were ripped. Their kids were ripped from their arms and separated. And now they cannot find over 500 of sets of those parents, and those kids are alone. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. It's criminal. Booming it's criminal. Joe's voice Let me right ask now. Kristen, I will say this. They went down. We brought reporters, everything. <laughs> They are so well taken care of. Uh -oh. They're in facilities that were so clean. Oh, uh, this is like demonstrating. Such a but just ask one question. Yeah, it is. Who it's built literally the cages? public, a matter of public record. They're not. Who built the cages? Let me ask about your it's immigration like policy, Mr. Vice President. The Obama being administration given, uh, did fail to deliver immigration reform, which had been a key promise during the administration. It also presided over record deportations as well as Like a toothpaste. That was a whole big thing, right? No fucking toothpaste. No toothpaste and no soap. Like, too expensive. Yep. Yeah, too expensive. Yeah, it's absolutely terrible. I'll be president of the United States, not vice president of the United States. I just States. I don't know how the you fact is, I've made it very clear. This Within 100 happen. days, I'm going to send yeah. to the United States Congress a halfway to citizenship like... for over 11. Yeah, literally. Like, it's this is information that anybody can access. You can go find the actual reports that were done of the ICE facilities where they did they were denying children. Uh, toothpaste and soap because the cost was too high, quote unquote. Fucking garbage. Is they go into a country they've never seen before. I can imagine you're five years old, your parents are taking you across the, the Rio Grande River and it's, and, it's, and it's illegal. And you say, oh no, mom, leave me here. I'm not going to go with you. They've been here. Many of them are model citizens. Over 20,000 of them are first responders out there taking care of people during this crisis. We owe them. We owe them. President Kristen, Trump, he had reaction. eight years to do what he said he was going to do. And I've changed without having a specific. We got rid of catch and release. We got rid of a lot of horrible things that they put in and that they lived with. But he had eight years he was vice president. He did nothing except build cages to keep children in. Which you yes, filled with children. Response. Which catch you filled release. with children. You know what he's talking about there? If, in fact, you had a family came across and they were arrested, they, in fact, were given a date to show up for their hearing. They were released. And guess what? They showed up for a hearing. And this is the first president in the history of the United States of America that anybody seeking asylum has to do it in another country. That's never happened before in America. That's never happened before in America. You come to the United States and you make your case that I seek asylum based on the following on the following premise, why I deserve it under American law. Yeah, see, this is why you deserve They're the trash can, Peacecraft. on the other side of the river. President Trump, your response, uh, so 30 important. seconds, and then we'll move It on. just shows that he has no understanding of immigration or the laws. Catch and release is a disaster. A murderer would come in, a rapist would come in, a very bad person would come in. Oh, we wow, reprising that one. We have to release them into the our murders, country. The and then you say they come back. Less than 1% of the people 
come back. We have to send ICE out and Border Patrol out to find them. We would say, come back in two years, three years. We're going to give you a court case. You need Perry Mason. We're going to give you a court case. When you say they come back, they don't come back, Joe. They, they never come back. Only the really — That's I false. I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ — Talk to you. Okay, President Trump, let's right. give Vice President Biden a chance to respond, and then we're going to move on to the you next section. You don't know section. the law, Joe. Vice President know Biden, law. your response. Know the law. What he's telling you is simply not true. Well, check, check it, it out. out. They don't come back. Check it out. All right, let's move but on to the But we don't have to, to worry about section. it because they terminated it, so we don't have to worry about let's it. Let's move right. on How to the next section. How convenient. 525 kids not knowing where in God's name they're going to be and lost their parents. Go ahead. All right. Let's talk about our next section, which is race in America. And I want to talk about the way black and brown Americans experience race in this country. Well, here we go. Here's Part the of Abe that Lincoln. experience is something called the talk. It happens regardless of class and income. Parents who feel they have no choice but to prepare their children for the chance racism that they could be targeted, including by the police, for no reason other than the color of their skin. Mr. Vice President, in the next two minutes, I want you to oh, speak okay, directly Gina, have a to these night. families. Do you Sorry. understand why these yeah. parents fear for their children? I do. I do. You know, my daughter is a social worker, and uh, she's, all, she's written a lot about this. She has a graduate degree from the University of Pennsylvania in social work. And, you know, uh, one of the reasons why I ended up working on the east side of Wilmington, Delaware, which is 90 percent African-American, was to learn more about what was going on. What I didn't — I never had to tell my daughter, if she's pulled over, make sure she puts — for a, a traffic stop, put both hands on top of the wheel and don't reach for the glove box because someone may shoot you. But a black parent, no matter how wealthy or how poor they are, has to teach their child when you're walking down the street don't have a hoodie on when you go across the street, making sure that you, in fact, if you get pulled over, yes, yes, sir, no, sir, hands on top of the wheel, because you are, in fact, the victim, whether you're a person making 300,000, child of a $300,000 a year person or someone who's on, on, on food stamps. The fact of the matter is, there is institutional racism in America. And we have always said, We've never lived up to it. That we hold these truths to be self-evident. Oh, All the, men and women uh, are created equal. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. We have never, ever lived up to it. And we've all constantly been moving the needle further and further to inclusion, not exclusion. This is the first president to come along and says, that's the end of that. We're not going to do that anymore. We have to provide for economic opportunity, better education, better health care, better access to schooling, better access to opportunity to borrow money to start businesses. All the things we can do, and I've laid out a clear plan as to how to do those things, just to give people a shot. It's about accumulating the ability to have wealth as well as it is to be free from violence. President Trump, same question to you, and let me remind you of the question. I would like you to speak directly to these families. Do you understand why these parents fear for their children? Yes, I do. And again, He's been in government 47 years. He never did a thing, except in 1994, when he did up. such yeah. harm to the black community. And it's they were called — and he called them super predators. And he said that. He said it, super he predators. And they kept yeah. never lived that down. 1994 — That was, some, that was another politician, bill, wasn't it? The super predators. Nobody has done more for the black community. Than Donald Trump. And if you look, the with the predators. exception Biden of Abraham Lincoln, possible say. exception, but the Getting exception of Abraham Lincoln, There's the nobody Lincoln. has done what I've done. Three. Criminal justice Boom. reform. Obama Honestly. and Joe didn't do it. I don't even think they tried because they had no chance at doing it. They might have wanted to do it, but if you had to see the arms I had to twist to get that done, it was not a pretty picture. And everybody knows it, including some very liberal people that cried in my office. They cried in the Oval Office. Two weeks later, they're out saying, gee, we have to defeat him. Criminal justice reform, prison reform, opportunity zones with Tim Scott, a great senator from oh, South back, Carolina. Gina. He came in with this incredible idea for happy, Opportunity happy Zones. It's one of the most successful programs. People don't talk about it. Tremendous investment is being made. Biggest beneficiary, the black and Hispanic communities. And then Avocado historically toast. black Delicious. colleges and universities. After three years of coming to the office, I love some of those guys. They were great. They came into the office 
And they said, I said, what are you doing? After three years, I said, why do you keep coming back? Because we have no funding. I said, you don't have to come back every year. We have to come back. Because what President Obama would never give them long-term no funding. And I did. Ten-year, okay. long-term funding, and I gave them more money than they asked for. Because they said, I think you need more. And I said, the only bad part about this is I may never see you again. Not because yet. I got very I've friendly I've almost got a bingo, them, though. And they like me and I like them. But I saved it. Colleges and universities. Okay, and we're going to talk about yeah, both of your records. But your response to that, Vice President. My response to that is I never, ever said what he accused me of saying. The fact of the matter is, in 2000, though, after the crime bill had been in, 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 in the law for a while, this is a guy who said the problem with the crime bill, there's not enough people in jail. There's not enough people in jail. And go on my website, get the quote, the date, when he said it. Not enough people. He talked about marauding uh -oh. gangs, young gangs, and the people who are going to maraud our cities. This is a guy who, in the Central Park Five, five innocent black kids, he continued to push for making sure that they got the death penalty. Mm -hmm. None of them were, Oof. none of them were guilty of what the crime, of the crimes they were suggested. Look, and talk about he, granted, he did in fact let 20 people, he commuted 20 people sentences. We commuted over a thousand people sentences, over a thousand. The very law he's talking about is a law that in fact initiated by Barack Obama. And secondly, we're in a situation here where we, the federal prison system was reduced by 38,000 people under our administration. And one of these things we should be doing, there should be no, no minimum ma mandatories in the law. That's why I'm offering $20 billion to states to change their state laws to eliminate minimum mandatories and set up drug good. courts. No one should be going to jail because they have a drug mm -hmm. problem. They should be going to rehabilitation, also good. not to jail. These we are unironically good policies on this part. change the system, part. and that's what I'm going to do. Not perfect, but they're but good. Why didn't he do it four years ago? Why didn't you do that four well, years ago, even, even less than that? Why didn't you I do am it? You were vice president. You keep talking about all these things you're going to do, and you're going to do this. But you were there just a short time ago, and you guys did nothing. We did. You know, Joe, I, I ran because of you. I ran because of Barack Obama, because you did a poor job. If I thought you did a good job, I would have never run. Uh, I would have never run. <laughs> I ran because of you. I'm looking at you now. You're a politician. I ran because of you. All right, Vice President Biden, your response to that, and then I do have some yeah. questions for both of you. Well, I tell you what, I, uh, I hope he does look at me because what's happening here is you know who I am, you know who he is, you know his character, you know my character, you know our reputations for honor mm -hmm. and telling the truth. I am anxious to have this race. I am anxious to see this take place. I am the character of the country is on the ballot. Our characters on the ballot. Look at us closely. Let me ask some follow-up. Please respond, if and then we're going to have follow-up. This stuff follow -up is true about Russia, him, what? Ukraine, China, other countries, Iraq. If this is true, Iraq. then he's a corrupt politician. Right. So don't true. give me the stuff about how you're this innocent baby, Joe. They're calling you a corrupt politician. They are President Trump. The I want to stay hell. on the issue Excuse of race. Me. We're Take talking about the, the issue laptop from hell. President Trump. No, we're talking about race right again. now, and I do want to stay on the issue the of race. From hell. President Trump, you have to respond to that. Please, because look, very there yeah, are true, fifty former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plant. Be right back. I just they have, have to said the that Take this over. Is, has all the care. Four, mm -hmm. five former heads of the CIA, both parties, say what he's saying is a bunch of garbage. Nobody That's believes true, it so. except the, his and the his good friend, Trump Rudy Giuliani. You mean the laptop is now another Russia, Russia, and Russia? Oh, so that That's exactly be. what this is where exactly like what This is where he's going. The laptop that, right. is Russia, yes. Russia, Gentlemen, Russia? I want to stay on the issue of race. You okay? have to be kidding. Here Mr. we go President, again with Russia. Boy, we're going to continue boy, on the boy. issue of race. Mr. President, you've described the Black Lives Matter movement as a symbol of hate. You've shared a video of a man chanting white power to millions of your supporters. You've said that black professional athletes white exercising supremacy. their First Amendment rights should be fired. What do you say to Americans who say that kind of language from a president is contributing to a climate of hate and racial strife? Well, you have to understand, the first time I ever heard of Black stream. Lives Matter, they were chanting, Pigs in a blanket, talking about police. Pigs, pigs, talking about our police. Pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. I said, that's a horrible thing. And they were marching down the street. And that was my first uh, glimpse of Black Lives Matter. I thought it was a terrible thing. As far as uh, my relationships with 
all people. I think I have great relationships with all people. I am the least racist person in this room. Well, what do you say to Americans who are concerned by that rhetoric? I don't know. The, I mean, I don't videos. know what to say. I got criminal justice reform done and prison reform and opportunity zones. I took care of black colleges and universities. I don't know what to say. They can say anything. I mean, they can say anything. It's a very it makes me sad because I am I, I am the least oh, racist person. He did I can't the meme, even guys. see the audience he because the it's meme. so dark. I'm but I don't care who's in the audience. Person. I'm the least racist person the in this least room. Racist person. Okay, Vice President Biden, Abraham, let me ask you very quickly and then I have a follow-up question for you. Abraham Lincoln here is one of the most racist presidents we've had in modern history. He pours fuel oh. on every single racist fire. Oh. Every single one. Started off his campaign coming down the escalator saying he's going to get rid of those uh, Mexican Biden did rapists. That. I'm the least he's racist banned person. Muslims uh, because they're Muslims. And we had a question he's on why it's around around and made made everything that worse across the board. He says to the oh, last four boys, last yeah, time we didn't we were on stage here, he said, I told him to stand down and stand ready. Come on. This X guy is a dog whistle about them. as big as a fog horn. Wait, did he just President say the Proud Boys? Give you ten seconds to respond, yep. and then I have. A he just said Proud Boys. Made a reference to Abraham yeah. Lincoln. Where did that come in? I mean, you said you're that, Abraham Lincoln. No, no. Where did that? No, no. You said I said not since Abraham Lincoln has anybody right. done what I've done for the black community. And I'm saying I didn't say I'm Abraham Lincoln. I said not since Abraham Lincoln has anybody done what I've done for the black. community. Community. Now, you have done nothing other than the crime bill, which put oh, God. Th tens of thousands of black like, honestly, men the, the, the mostly in jail. All right, let me, let me, let me ask they Vice remember President it because Biden if you look at what's happening with the voting <laughs> right now, let me ask they Vice President Biden They remember that you treated them about very, very badly. The, the, Just take a look at what's happening out there. Vice President Biden, let me give you a chance to respond within this context. Crime okay. bills that you supported in the 80s and 90s contributed to the incarceration of tens of thousands of young black men yeah. who had small amounts of drugs in their possession. They are uh, sons, they are brothers, they are fathers, Biden. their uncles, we'll whose families are still to this day, some of them suffering the consequences. So speak to those families. Why should they vote for you? One of the things is that in the 80s, we passed 100 percent, all 100 senators voted for it, a bill on drugs and how to deal with drugs. It was a mistake. I've Ooh. been trying to change the sense, and particularly play. the portion on cocaine. That's why I've been arguing that, in fact, we should not send anyone to jail for a pure drug offense. They should be going into treatment across the board. Hey, that's, that's a strong response. That's we should be spending money. That's why I set up drug courts, which were never funded by Republican okay. friends. They should not be going to jail for a drug or an alcohol problem. They should be going into treatment. Treatment. Do, That's donkey. what we've been trying to do. I'll That's do. what I'm That's going to get done because I think maybe the American people have now seen that, in fact, it was a mistake to pass those laws relating to the drug. But they were not in the crime bill. But okay. why okay. didn't he get it done? See, it's all talk, no action with these politicians. Why didn't he get it done? That's what I'm going to do when I become president. You were vice president, along with Obama as your president, your leader, for eight years. Why didn't you get it done? You had eight years to get it done. Now you're saying you're going to get it done because you're all talk and no action, Jim. We got your a lot response. of it done. We released 38,000. We got 38,000 prisoners left from the. You got out. nothing you just done. 38,000 prisoners what's, what's were going released on from federal prison. Yeah, they need to we meet have, him. There were He's been over fucking. A thousand he's the only one who's done clemency. that this time. We have made, in fact, we're the ones that put in the legislation saying we could look at pattern and practice of police departments and what they were doing, how they were conducting themselves. I could go on, but we began the process. We began the process. We lost an election. That's why I'm running to win back that election and change his terrible policy. I just asked, I just asked one question. Why didn't you do it in the eight years, a short time ago? Why didn't you do it? You just said, I'm going to do he that. He just I'm said that you this. did. You he put did. tens because of thousands of mostly black young men in prison. Now you're saying you're going to get, you're going to undo that. Why didn't you get it done? You had eight years with Obama. You know because, why, Joe? Because you're all tall. Yeah, he loses it when his mic no gets action. muted. All right, Vice President because Biden, and then we're going to move on to the next section. We had a Republican Congress. Oh! That's the answer.
Well, you okay. Talk, you got to talk them into it, Joe. So, All right. Yeah, and how have you done We're with We're going to move on to our next yeah. section. Like I did Oops. with criminal justice reform. That backfired. I had okay. to talk Democrats into it. Gentlemen, you did we're, we're, we're running out of done. time, so we got to get on to okay. climate change, please. You both have very different... Oh, that fucking watch flip. President Trump, you say that the environmental regulations have what was that? in the energy sector. Joe, Vice what? Vice President Biden, you have said you see addressing <laughs> climate change doing? as an opportunity to Joe's going fucking wild tonight. each of you. How would you both combat climate change and support job growth at the same time? Starting with you, President Trump, you have two minutes uninterrupted. So, uh, Biden, we have wild. the Trillion Trees He's program. Like, we have so many different Let me programs. check the time on that one. I do love the environment, <laughs> but what I want is the cleanest crystal clear water, the cleanest air. We have the best, lowest number in carbon emissions, which is a big standard that I notice Obama goes with all the time. Not Joe. I haven't heard Joe use the term because I'm not sure he knows what it represents or <laughs> means, but sure I have heard Obama use it. Inside. And we have the best carbon emission the best numbers, numbers that we've had in 35 years Joe's charging under his attack. this administration. We Did are working so well with industry. Charging. But here's what we can't do. Look at China, how filthy it is. Look at Russia. Look at India. It's filthy. The, the wow. air is filthy. The Paris Accord, I took us out because we were going to have to spend trillions of dollars and we wow, were okay, very dude. unfairly. When they put us in there, they did us a great okay, disservice. Babe. They were going to take away okay. our businesses. I okay, dude. Tens of millions of jobs, thousands and thousands of companies <laughs> okay, because dude. of the Paris Accord. It was so unfair. China doesn't kick in until 2030. <laughs> Russia goes back to a low standard, and we kicked in right away. Isn't China like been, on track to hit been, all its targets? Destroyed our business. Yeah, China's they're doing, doing better than we are. Already. We have done yeah. an incredible job environmentally. We have the cleanest air, the cleanest water, and the best carbon emission standards that we've seen in many, many years. It's not going to sell well on the West Coast. I'll Vice tell President you that much. We haven't destroyed our industries. Vice President Biden, two minutes to you, uninterrupted. Climate change and climate warming, the global warming, is an existential threat to humanity. We have a moral obligation to deal with it. And we're told by all the leading scientists in the world, we don't have much time. We're going to pass the point of no return within the next eight to ten years. Former years of this man eliminating all the regulations that were put in by us to clean up the climate, to clean up, to limit the, the uh, limited emissions will put us in a position where we're going to be in real trouble. Here's where we have a great opportunity. I was able to get both all the environmental organizations as well as labor, the people worried about jobs, to support my climate plan. Because what it does, it will create millions of new good-paying jobs. We're going to invest oh, meat in, bomb. for That's example, we're all on the site. 500,000, 50,000, 50,000 charging stations on our highways so that we can own the electric you can sign car in market Twitch. of the future. It's cool. In the meantime, you get cool China emotes, is too. doing that. We're going to be in a position where we're going to see to it that Do we're going to take 4 plab. million existing yeah, no Twitch buildings Come over to Demon and 2 million com. existing homes and <laughs> retrofit them so they don't <laughs> leak as much energy, saving hundreds of millions of barrels Just of get oil in the process language. and creating a significant <laughs> number of jobs. You and by the way, the whole idea <laughs> of what this is all going to do is create millions of jobs. And it's going to clean the environment. Here we are in our custom website with our Happening. Fake gold and spray right painted now, chairs. Way, Wall Street firms indicated that <laughs> my plan, my my plan will in fact create 18.6 million jobs, seven million more than his. This is from Wall Street, and I'll create one trillion dollars more in economic growth than oh, yeah. his proposal. Paint my face orange and climate, slap my name on a hotel. Well, President yeah. Trump today came out and said very strongly. $6,500 will be taken away from families under his plan, that his plan is an economic disaster. If you look at what he wants to do, you know, the, if you look at his plan, Not, his environmental plan, you know who developed it? <laughs> AOC plus three. They know nothing the about the climate. I know she's got a good squad. line he of stuff, but she knows nothing so about much. the climate. And they're all hopping it's through fun. hoops for AOC Terrified plus of three. Them. Look, that has nothing to do with their climate. Their plan costs $100 trillion. If we had the Strong, best year in the history women. of our country the for 100 out of the years, we would not even come close to a Need number like to that. 
When he says buildings, and, and they want to take buildings down because they want to make bigger windows into smaller windows. Like Rudy Giuliani. As far as they're concerned, if you had no window, <laughs> yeah, it would Rudy be a Trump. lovely thing. This Rudy is Giuliani is like Trump's ideal wife. Has ever seen. Yeah, truly. And this wasn't done by <laughs> smart people. This wasn't Trump's done by ideal woman. anybody. Frankly, I don't even know how it could be good politically. Right. They want to spend a hundred trillion about? dollars. That's their real is number. Is he talking about toilets again? Six. It's a hundred trillion dollars. They want to knock down buildings. Joe build Biden's new buildings losing it. With little, tiny, small windows. <laughs> tiny, <laughs> small many windows. Other things. Okay. And many other things. Let me have the vice tiny president respond. Tiny is going to knock down. Time. We have a lot tiny of questions. Destroy our country. Do the tiny windows. Vivian, do you, how do you feel about tiny windows? Not big ones. Tiny, small, not good, not big. We had big, beautiful windows. What about tiny ones? What do you feel about tiny ones? I want every... big, beautiful windows. We need big, beautiful windows. <laughs> what Labor, is a nation with tiny windows? Because they know the future lies. Nothing. The future lies. Oh, and it's not even a nation. And they know they're good jobs in getting us there. And Tremendous by the way, the fastest growing industry in America are is 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 the electric. <laughs> oh, the, uh, Excuse me. Uh, solar energy and wind. He thinks wind causes <laughs> cancer. Windmills. It's true. It's, it's the fastest that. growing it's jobs, it. and they pay good that prevailing so wages. Forty-five, Trump fifty bucks an hour. Shit, but the windmills we cause can cancer grow thing just and like, we can what? be cleaner if well, we cuts go the air in half. It turns into cancer. Air. President Trump, Excuse me. please respond, energy, and then I have to. We are yeah. energy independent for the first time. Can't have that we don't air. need all of these countries that we had to fight war over because we needed their energy. We are energy independent. I know more about wind than you do. Oh. It's extremely <laughs> expensive, kills all the birds, it's very intermittent, it's got a lot of problems, and they happen to make the windmills in both Germany and China, and the fumes coming up, if you're a believer in carbon emission, the fumes coming up to make, make these massive windmills is more than anything that we're talking about with natural gas, which is very cool. One other thing. Find me a scientist solar. Said that. I love solar, What's but solar doesn't about? quite have it yet. It's not powerful. I'm very to confused to, now. To really run our big, beautiful factories that the we need to compete the with the world. Big, so factories. it's all a pipe dream. But you know what we'll do? We're going to have the greatest economy in the world. But big, if you want to kill factories. the economy, BBF. get rid of your oil industry. You want. And, and what about fracking? All right, now, let me, now we let have me, have, have, let me allow fracking. Vice President I Biden to respond. I never said I oppose fracking. Y you said it I, on tape. I did. Show the tape. Put it on your website. I'll put it on. Put it on the website. Do it. The fact of the matter is Show he's flat lying. Do it, Trump. Would you rule out fracking? Pussy. I do rule out banning fracking because the answer, Pussy. we need, we need okay, other ass, scrub. industries yeah, to we... transition to get to ultimately a complete zero emissions by 2025. What I will do with fracking over time is make sure that we can capture the emissions from the fracking, capture the emissions from gas. <coughs> we can do that, and we can do that by investing money in doing it. But it's a transition to that. I have one more question excuse in me, this pod, and then we, me, we have- he was against fracking. He said it. I will show that to you tomorrow. I Good. am against fracking. Until he got the nomination, went to Pennsylvania, then he said, but you know what, Pennsylvania? He'll be against it very soon because his party is totally against it. Fracking on federal land, I said. No fracking you and said, or oil on federal land. Let me ask this final question in this Whoops. section, and then I want to move on to our final section. President Trump, people of color are much more likely to live near oil refineries and chemical plants. In Texas, there are families who worry the plants near them are making them sick. Your administration has rolled back regulations on these kinds of facilities. Why should these families right, give you right, another course. four years in office? Uh, the families that we're talking about the, the cancer are causing windmills, employed yes. heavily, and they're making a lot of money, more money than they've Go ever made. Nice. If you look at the kind of numbers that we produce for <laughs> Hispanic, for Black, for Asian, it's nine times greater the percentage gain than it was under in three years than it was under eight years of the two of them, to put it nicely. To put it nicely. Nine times what? more. Now, rather than, somebody rather than I have not saying the mean the thing which would have been. Statistics that you're saying, 
but they're making a tremendous <laughs> amount sure. of money I don't, I don't know. economically. No we saved it, and Instead I saved it again three of them, a number of months ago mean. when oil was crashing because of the pandemic. <laughs> okay. we, saved wear any we got, say what you want about yeah. relationship, we're we got lie. Saudi Arabia, <laughs> Mexico, <laughs> and Russia to cut back <laughs> way back. Actually we actually saved our oil mind. industry, and now like, it's very vibrant again. Right. And everybody has very They're inexpensive gasoline. Vice President Biden, your response, and then we're going to have a final question. To be nice, to say the nice thing, the two of them. The two of them to be nice, not three, understand. because three would be a lie and they lying isn't very nice. Chemical plants <laughs> that in fact pollute chemical plants Chem and oil well plants well known and refineries that pollute. Not liar. I used to yeah. live near that when well I was known growing truth up in teller. Claymont, Delaware. And yeah. all the more oil refineries in Marcus Hook and the Delaware well, we got River Saudi Arabia. That one would be used to Iran, though. In Houston at the time. When my mom got in the car and when, when there were first frost to drive me to school, turn in the windshield wiper, there'd be oil slick in the window. That's why so many people in my state were dying and getting cancer. The fact is, those frontline communities, it doesn't matter what you're paying them, it matters how you keep them safe. What do you do? And you impose restrictions on the pollutions that it, the pollutants coming out of those fence lines communities. Okay, I have one final would question. Would he close it down falls, the oil industry? It falls. W would you close down the falls. oil industry? By the way, I would transition from the oil industry, yes. Oh, I will that's transition. a big statement. It you. is a big statement. That's a because big statement. I would stop. Why would you do that? Because the oil industry pollutes significantly. Oh, I see. Here's the yeah, deal. Obviously. That's a big statement. This is not contradictory. Well, if you let I mean, me this is not controversial. Because it has to be replaced by renewable energy oh, over true, time. Oh, true, Gina. Over time. And I'd stop giving to the oil industry, I'd stop giving them federal subsidies. He won't give federal subsidies to the to the gas, excuse me, to the to uh, solar and wind. Yeah. Why are we giving it to oil industry? We actually do All give right. it to solar and wind. We and that's maybe the biggest question. statement in terms of business. That's the biggest statement. Okay. Because basically what he's saying question, is he is Mr. going President. to destroy. Fuck this guy. Fucking industry. mute his mic. Will you remember that Texas? Will you okay. remember that Pennsylvania, Oklahoma? Vice President Biden, let me give you 10 seconds to respond. Ohio. And then I have to get to the final question. Vice President Biden. Holy shit, it's so it's annoying. Out of context, but the point is. It look, really is. It we really have is. to move toward a net zero emissions. The first place to do that by the year 2035 is in energy okay. production by 2050 totally. All right. One is he going to get China to do it? No, we're finished with is this. Is he we going to, to get China to, to do it? Our final question. No, we have to I'm going to rejoin Paris Accord and make oh. China abide by but, what they agreed to. All right. This is about trillion. leadership, gentlemen. And this first question does go to you, President Trump. Imagine this is your inauguration day. What will you say in your address to, America, to Americans who did not vote for you? You'll each have one minute, starting with you. We have to make a country totally successful as it was prior to the plague China plague. from China. Oh, now we're China plague. And we're doing record numbers, 11.4 yep. million jobs in a short period of time. The plague coming in from China. That's it. You, go back. Before the plague came in, just before, I was getting calls from people that were not normally people that would call me. They wanted to get together. We had the best black unemployment numbers in the history of our country. Hispanic, women, Asian, what? people with diplomas, with no diplomas, MIT yes. graduates, number one in the class. Women, Everybody the well -known had race the best people. numbers. And you know what? The other side wanted to get together. They wanted My to get a fight. Success is going to bring us together. We are on the road to success, but I'm cutting taxes, and he wants to raise everybody's taxes, and he wants to put new regulations on everything. He will kill it. If he gets in, you will have a depression, the likes of which you've never seen. Your 401ks will go to hell, and it'll be a very, very Holy sad day shit. for this country. All right. Vice President Biden, same this question so to pathetic. you. What will you say during your inaugural address to Americans who did not vote for you? I will say I'm an American president. I represent all of you, whether you voted for me or against me. And I'm going to make sure that you're represented. I'm going to give you hope. We're going to move. We're going to choose science over fiction. We're going to choose hope over fear. We're going to choose to move forward because we have enormous opportunities, enormous opportunities to make things better. We can grow this economy. We can deal with the systemic racism. And at the same time, we can make sure that our economy is being run and moved and motivated by clean energy, creating millions of new jobs. And that's the fact. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to say, I think as I said at the, the beginning, on the green what stuff is, is on good. the ballot here Solve is the character right of this country. Decency, honor, respect, treating people with dignity, making sure that everyone has an even chance. And I'm going to make sure you get that. You haven't been getting it the last four years.
All right, I want to thank you both for a very robust hour and a half, a fantastic debate. Really appreciate it. President Trump, former Vice President Joe Biden, thank you to Belmont University for hosting us tonight. And most importantly, thank you to those watching tonight. Election Day <clears throat> is November 3rd. Wow. Don't forget to vote. Thank you, everyone, and have a great night. Thank you. Did you get a bingo? I did not get a bingo. I didn't get a bingo either. No bingo. They wasted so much time in the middle. Just, just like Trump going on and on and on and on. Damn, we both Making lost the bingo. Ah, ah, my life is over. How will I ever? How will we ever survive? Recover from this? I'll show you. I'll show you the bingo chart here. I just want to see if there's anything funny happens at the end. Come on, Donald Trump, just tip over, just, just fall over. Is that Biden's missus? I don't know anything yeah. about her. What's yeah. Biden's wife's name? Uh, Jill Biden. Jill Biden. Jill. Yeah, I feel like Jill. I've heard. I She's feel a like teacher, I've heard I think, or she was, or she was. Hey, Jill, yeah. dude, good to see you. I've I've paid fucking no attention to her. Yeah. I feel bad now. I feel like I've let everybody down. Nah, that's okay. <laughs> wow. I'll let you all down, chat. I'm so sorry. Here, let me bring this up here. Yeah, PhD in education, right? Yeah. Damn. Well, that was interesting. Well, that was certainly an interesting one. Look at this. Look at how close we got with this. I almost had one, but he never mm. technically said it was just a flu, did he? Nope. Yep, he never no. actually said that. He came real close. Yeah, the low IQ I came, comment I came was real close as well. What was I missing? I was missing um Trump feels good. That's yeah, what I was missing. He came close. He did I say he felt good, it. but we had originally said that like we had put that one as, oh, he feels the best he's ever felt, which he didn't go to that one. They also didn't even mention packing courts, which was really weird to me. Yeah. It was like a huge um talking point after the after the debates first time around, right? Yep. We didn't get any really Antifa. Weird that they didn't mention it. We didn't get the Dems or Commies. We got the Dems or Socialists, but we never got Commies. Yeah. We didn't get Burning Cities. He's moved off that one, apparently. He didn't bring up Cancel Culture, which he did in the last one. We could put down China Virus. He did say that. We could put that one. He said China Plague. Did he say China Virus as did well? Did he say China Virus? He said the plague from China, but I don't know, I don't if, he know if he said China, China Virus. virus. I don't remember. Yeah, it is basically the same thing. But the point was that he, uh, that I thought he was going to shake on, it up. I'm putting the QAnon theory in as a hashtag because, like, uh, sorry, I was marking them all with hashtags. Um, <laughs> That's okay. I'm putting that. I'm putting that one down because they were talking about that so much. They never mentioned Antifa, did they? Oh, he did say China virus. Okay. All right. He so we can both put China virus China. on then. Okay, we'll put China virus on there. All right. Okay. Did he get it? Did we get an Antifa? Did I miss an Antifa? I'm surprised. We're burning cities. Burning cities. I totally forgot that. He definitely said that. Did he say the so burning actually, cities? Actually, I do have a bingo. Oh, yeah. I was talking about yeah. Burning, down, burning down cities. I'll just, I'll, 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 I can confirm it with you Sick. via stream. Where's yeah, yeah. You can check it. We can do a, a, a. No, uh, I can't stream. I can't stream into your channel. I'm not allowed. That's bad. That's okay. Wait, what? Uh, I can't stream into your channel, so. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I don't have that set up. Wait, it's all good. Uh, Let's... Okay, so hold on a second. Wait, you can send me you'll your... Have to, uh, you'll just have to trust me. Or you can take a picture of it and send it to the chat. Oh, that way chat that can celebrate with you. Okay, okay. Take Give a second. screenshot. We oh, didn't get... So let's see, what do we get? He didn't even mention his platinum plan. The mod brought up ACB, but neither of them did. He didn't say Antifa. He didn't. They didn't talk about packing the courts at all, which is wild because he talked about Antifa, um, the anarchists, and the and all, and the burning cities like a million times in the last one. Yeah, he mentioned Barack Obama, but he never said the whole point was the my friend Barack. He usually says that, and and Biden totally dodged it. He never said it this time. We didn't get the Dems or commies. We did get the Dems or socialists, which is close, but not the same. We didn't get the suburbs, which surprised me because I thought for sure he was going to bring that up. We got a lot of other ones, though. Holy mm. shit. We did get a lot of these. The vaccine promise, he did like four times. Looks like he's moved off of just the flu, which is probably a good thing. Yeah, I mean, socialist and commie is probably the same, and Trump 
brain, but you know, we gotta, it's for the game. It's for the game. Can't cheat. Holy shit. Well, that was interesting. Hey, go demon mama. There you are. I've sent it. Oh boy. Wait, uh, here. Uh, the ones, the ones that, uh, the, I, I marked them off with hashtags. That's what I was doing. All right. So we got Second. the, with damn, the right hashtag. down there. China virus, burning cities, proud boys, taxes to China and Abe Lincoln. Looks like you almost yeah. got, you almost got a middle one too. Damn, you almost got a double. Yeah, yeah. I almost got the, um, what was that? Where was that? Fuck. The, uh, the one with Iran and the Proud Boys, and then you missed Cancel Culture. That was the only one. Yeah. We didn't get that one. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't get that either. Which makes sense if you think about it from like a perspective of issues that matter, but not things that Trump <laughs> talks about. Trump has brought up Cancel Culture all the time. Very true. He brings so it up true. all the he's time. He's very good at bringing up shit that just doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, yeah. he's That's like his favorite fucking <laughs> thing in the world, yeah, for sure. <laughs> wow. Well, hey, uh, huge congratulations to Vivian Wolf, who won the bingo. Bingo winner. Winning the bingo. Yeah. Get fucking so, wrecked. Yeah, Stop. I got owned. I got blown the fuck out in bingo. All right, so <laughs> let's talk about our thoughts about it, huh? Let's do that, huh? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Um, I think Biden looked a lot stronger this debate than the last debate. Um, I agree. He started off slow. He was kind of like fumbling his sentences at the start. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think he got into the swing of things really well. Uh, I think the the corruption question, he managed to not be on the defensive and be constantly on the attack, which is something that looks really, really good to the right and centrists and stuff. Mm -hmm. It might not look so good to us. We might be like, oh, he's dodging the question. Uh, if it was something we actually cared about and we didn't just think it was all a load of fucking... Uh, 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 you know, conspiratorial horse shit. Yeah. Um, but but you know, so I mean, obviously, he's not talking to us because that's that's what we think on that issue, pretty much. Mm. Um. So yeah, I think I think that was a really good response. I think it was pretty strong. Um. Overall, I think Biden did really really well. What was it he said on the crime bill? Because that was like one of the ones that I was just like, because that's something even we really really are just like yikes about right like how uh, how do you think he did on the crime bill um yeah i think his response was as good as it can possibly be like he said uh yeah we all voted for it and it was a mistake it was unequivocal he just said uh, it's unequivocally a mistake yeah, yeah, and I... we want to change that and we work to change it with obama and mm. you know we could argue that he didn't do a very good job with that but the fact that he brought that up and the fact that he's willing to own up to it is that is a that is a he's that's a reach to the left. That's him trying to appeal to us yeah, yeah. here in this chat. You know what I mean? And he did a pretty good job right. with it. Yeah, I think that's really strong. I I, I um yeah, what can you say really other yeah. than like it's it's good that he admits that it was a mistake and and yeah, we'll be We'll be very happy to have Biden on our, on our side fighting against these injustices while he's in office. Yeah. It better not all be fucking... Because you better believe, you know, um, the left's going to be holding his feet to the fucking fire. It's not like uh, those of us who are like, yes, you have to vote Biden. You have to fucking choke it down and vote Biden. Yeah. It's not like where fucking Biden stands, you know? Um, absolutely going to be holding his feet to the fire on, on, on all of this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's a really, really good sign that he's willing to sort of, uh, what do you say, like reach out, I guess? Yeah, he definitely did on a couple of occasions. Like, um, like I mean, there was the, of course, the crime bill. The Green, uh, he mm -hmm. didn't slip up and say the Green New Deal this time, but he did focus on it and he hammered on that a lot. And him, and he slammed Trump on that, like repeatedly, like talking oh, yeah. about how like, oh, you don't care about these people getting poisoned by oil. And Donald Trump was like, oh, you're going to get rid of all of our oil. And he's like, no, I'm not going to get rid of it immediately, but we need to, we need to move away because this is an ex existential threat. And like him owning that, I feel came off a lot stronger. Um, mm -hmm. he, he did say the healthcare is a human right. So that was a good line. He yeah, stole that one straight was, from Bernie. And, I don't know if he, he said uh, he said uh, affordable health care uh, is a human right. Is, oh. So it's, it's, it's a little weasley. It's a little um, bit, yeah. better, but, though. But it, it's still better. Yeah, yeah, it's better. It's still and then better. the one thing that he did do, $15 <laughs> minimum wage, which I did not because yeah, when Kamala was up, 
or Kamala, when Kamala was up, she did $13 minimum wage. He pushed the 15. Is that how you say it? Is it Kamala or Kamala? Kamala. Kamala. Yeah. Kamala. Kamala, Kamala. yeah. I know. People say um, Kamala Harris, Kamala but it's Kamala Harris, yeah. Kamala Harris, mm. sure. Not, yeah. not Kamala Malili. I kind of want to call her that. Can we just call her Kamala Malili? Uh-oh. Can we just do that? Yeah, I don't know. Kamala. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, for one, am a Biden stan. All right, extremely bad faith. I trust you on that. Yikes. Yeah, maybe maybe next time it'll be up to $17. Yeah, maybe we can just keep keep uh, nudging it upwards and he won't notice. Yeah, we'll tell him, that's wait a minute, you've been promising. Dollar. We'll just say Bernie kept promising a, a, an $18. And he's like, well, yeah, that's why we're fighting for a $17. And you're like, well, Bernie was fighting for a 20 Well, that's why we're fighting for 19 Wait, no, wait, no, wait. But Bernie said 23 Yeah, 21 <laughs> 2000 uh, two, $2,000 an hour. You're a million dollars an hour. And he's just like, One yes, I commit. Dollars. <laughs> I commit $500 million an hour for all American workers. Be amazing. <laughs>